The void game. The void game. You play the void. Enjoy the void. It's where we sit and we talk about our emotions. I don't like my emotions. <laughs> no one does. Welcome to the void, everyone. I'm not. <laughs> We are the game! We got played! Game on the void. It just keeps being more void. Ah! I okay. Don't know, I, think I think Morgan would take that as a challenge. Morgan would. Okay, everyone, calm down. The void is gone. No. We don't have to talk about our feelings. I can put Jam in that man's bag. That's easy. Please don't. No, do I can it. do it. Please. Another that man in Jam. Please don't sl slather Q to you and Jam. Do it. No, I could. Please don't. Please, please don't. I'm not gonna lick it. I'm not gonna lick a man. That's just rude. P please don't. Work nicely. Listen, oh, the only man nicely? we're the only man we're licking, and by we I mean me, is Majima, husband. Okay. <gasps> okay. So on to today on Cat is a thirsty bitch. Hi. <laughs> not a thirsty. Give me back my soul. The void is the um. Uh, Ah, uh, Jim, you're so sweet. The void is still present in my voice. Also, according to Danny Spooky Pumpkin, the void was the emotions we made along the way. Makes sense. I hate it. All right. I don't like this. Relax. Right. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, 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 Pinch the bridge your nose for five minutes and reset your cat. Thank you. Oh, is my voice mod on? Uh -huh. It was when, he, when I was in your stream earlier. Oh god, I thought I turned that off. Hold on, let me just check. Give me a second. Yep, it's on. Off. There we go. There it is, there's the crash. Okay, have a good day. Okay, good. I broke the things for you. Okay. Well, I this game basically will only work if I'm doing nothing else. Ah, that's basically what you've learned. Sadly. Which means I can't hang out with friends and play it, which is upsetting because it is a open world where I have to run around a lot. Which makes me sad. What game is it? Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Yep, that makes sense. Uh... Okay. CPU be mad. So I know I said last time I would do plot, but crazy hobo fights. So, that was a fucking lie. Oh, like anyone paid attention on Sunday. We were too busy talking about butts. The plot. That's not the plot of Yakuza. Are you sure? No. I don't know, you talked about that a lot from Yakuza, so I figured it was. Oh my god! I am not that thirsty! All I'm saying is, if we threw you in the pool, yes, you and you drank all of it, you could still go for another glass of water. I'm offended. I offended, I'm, I'm tough. Gonna, I'm gonna be real with you, Chief. I just always assumed you were horny on Maine. I am, <laughs> but still! Majima, yeah. Oh no, darling. You should have seen me during Final Fantasy XV and my thirst. And let I me did, guess. I was let on your guess. Twitter let when you like the Let me guess. I don't think you've got the same taste in men as me, so I'm gonna guess Noctus. Eh! Noctus was okay. sun! <laughs> wow, yeah. Okay, who then? Gladio and Ignis! Ah! Uh, the Gladi Daddy! Gladi Daddy! Good old Gladi Daddy. I would like to leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, we'll talk about the women in the game. I Sit. don't think that's there the women in there? Yeah, there I was still would like to leave. As far as I remember, I called it the all all bros. Oh, wait, fuck. It's called the all, all bros, bros no hose road trip. It is. It's the no bros. Road trip. Except for that one chick who joined for a little while, but she got out. That was Gladio's sister, you pervert. Not the one who fucking kicks your ass. Oh no, no, that's 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 Ariana. No, her, her, I'm okay. Right? Ariana Grande's you... in the game. Yes, no. Ariana Grande is in the game. No, I'm okay. She's a bro. No, Ariana, uh, Ariana, I sit there going, step on me, madam. Please. I mean, move. Why y'all like this? Because <laughs> none of- Because I have not known the touch of human in a many a year. I have also not known the touch of human in many a year. I was also going to say, because I didn't get all this horny energy out when I was a teenager. 
me nothing mood. No one in my high school thought I was hot. I mean, same. Aww. Y'all need Jesus. Jesus! No, what I need is therapy. I have therapy. I don't... I have therapy and I'm still like this. Y'all need Jesus and y'all need therapy. Okay, you of all people saying that I need Jesus is kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. All right, crazy hobo fights. Let's go. Not even I need the flying spaghetti monster in my life. No, it's just I've skipped him and I'm straight on to Jesus. Oh, we should let spaghetti monster doesn't help with mental health. What's he good for then? Providing pasta. Providing strippers. Ah, uh, oh. that too. I don't know. He offered those services. Yeah. Yeah. If you go to hell. It's you a. It's get a. Fl blackjack and hookers, but. Your beer is always warm and the hookers are full of STDs. And if you go to heaven, your beer is always cold and your hookers are always clean. Also, husband. What if I go to Valhalla? You don't go to Valhalla under the flying spaghetti monster. No, but I might end up there under Thor. Thor, you get a bunch of fighting and women and lamenting. But you also have to die fighting, I believe. Yeah, you have to die in battle. Thankfully, it's not specific as to what the fight is. So I could basically fight... I was gonna say fight a Karen at a freaking target, but I'm sitting here going, "Would you actually do oh, that?" I thought, I thought it's something worse. I'm not gonna go with it. fighting with a jar of pickles. Yeah, let's go with that. Sure. Go, go carry you. Majima husband isn't here to hurt you for now. Yes, he is. For now. He's always here to hurt me. Apparently. The fact that he's not my husband. Oh, Majima. Fight capitalism. We could fight capitalism and go to Valhalla. Fight the uncontrollable masculine urges. To touch butts? Yeah, sure. What if we kiss at the hobo fight? <laughs> what I'm if we kiss unless... at the hobo fight? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi, by the way, hi. Well, oh. now just kidding, unless. Oh, by the way, hi, daycare boss. As... What if our hands touched at the hobo fight you agree? Just uh, kidding, just <laughs> Nothing like true love at a hobo fight. <laughs> you know it. You, me, an angry hobo. Nothing else in between. <laughs> <laughs> there. Okay, my health is up. Let's see if I can do these hobo fights. Which, I know how I used to be like, these aren't hobo fights, but now I'm just sitting here going, yeah, they're hobo fights. Just delivered something that... Some people would consider a breakfast. Cold pizza? Uh, man, that was a good actual guess, but no. Uh, basically just a bunch of, like, the, like you a have... pot bread. Just Ooh. covered in icing. Uh, oh. You have my axe. What good is body spray in this situation? Oh, also, don't worry. Not only does this have an underground fighting dome with hobos, it has hookers! Does it have blackjack? Yes! <laughs> what, 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 what? Wait, does that blackjack? I think so. Jack <laughs> Black! <coughs> no Jack Black. Oh. Uh, this game was set- Is there blackjack playing blackjack? Is there Jack Black playing blackjack with a blackjack? My brain hurts. Get it, blackjack. In an alternate universe, do we have blackjack black playing blackjack with a blackjack? We are entering the tournament. We are gonna fight a bunch of hobos. Why? Because if we fight hobos, we get money and points. What does the thing actually do for me? What does the eye pendant do? It's a pendant for the eye. It helps with your insight, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Yep, yep, so yep. What the fuck is it? <laughs> okay, remember what the block button is, Cat. I know you don't use it, but today we are using it. What in God's name is a block button? A thing I have to use for fighting sometimes. <laughs> They're playing yeah, before, they don't have a block button. <laughs> fight, fight, fight! Kiss, kiss, kiss! Fall in love! Can we play again? 
We're playing Yakuza. Ooh, that's a nice act. Uh, do you have the DLC for Bloodborne? Uh, yes, that's actually what I'm currently playing. Get the pizza cutter axe, you're gonna love it. I have the pizza cutter axe, this is my second playthrough? Uh. No. Third. Oh god, not this guy in a suit. Anytime there's a guy in the suit, that means they're usually gonna kick my ass within two minutes. Then try getting good. That's what the point of me fighting in the hobo fights is for. And that's why I'm playing the DLC. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. I'm still trying to find the broccoli head, though. Or the cauliflower head. Broccoli head, his name is Deku, and you love him. Okay, the cauliflower, then. Jesus Christ on a pogo stick, you are an asshole. Yes, I am. What's your point? God dang, you stupid... Okay, can I just pick this thing up? I don't know where the fuck it is. It's in your heart. Wow, thank you. God damn! No, I mean, it's physically in your heart. You have to remove it or you're gonna die. Oh, shit. God damn it, this man kicks... I hate Brian. Fuck you, Brian. And any Brian fuck H's Brian. out there. Fucking Brian. Okay, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Brian. Nope, nope. We're gonna fuck you all, Brian. Fuck you. Fuck you, Brian. Ah. My testicles! No! I... I pendant that unlocks the surgery altar. Excuse me? The sugary altar? The surge Oh, I know what it's on about. Okay. Maybe I should just continue with plot so I can get stronger and more aggressive. You must get strong. Okay. Like woman who fight bear in forest. Okay. What did you say? Minus woman? You must, be you must become as strong as woman who fight the bear in forest. How many women do you fight in the forest? No women who fight the bear. Oh. And to think, these are of one star difficulty. Man, you must suck at fighting. No, I'm good. It's just I, I when I have a crap ton of health items as well as a weapon. Wait, how the fuck do I wake this fucker up for his inevitable boss fight? Have you tried kissing it? Sadly, that is not an option. There's no kiss button in this game. Zero out of ten. Won't play again. You play Bloodborne. You know there's no kiss option. I haven't played. I just, I just watch people. Sorry. I haven't played. I watch people play because I don't own a PlayStation because I am what we call poor. Understandable. Also, I don't have like a full on setup. Do you have the potential for a monthly subscription to something? I don't own a PlayStation. If you're talking about Game Pass, it's not on there. It's not Game Pass, it's on PlayStation Now. Yeah, but PlayStation Now doesn't do PCs. Yes, it does. Wait, what? PlayStation Now does PC- does, lets me play games on the PlayStation on my PC. Yeah. At least it is when I tried it. I will be strong, babushka! Take that, bitch! Die, yeah, Kaya! I've got no idea how to... Come on, oh, come on. Oh, God, this motherfucker. I forgot about you, somehow. How do you forget about your long-lost love? That is not my long-lost love. That's a big, heavy dude trying to hit me with a giant axe. Close enough. Now, this time, do I keep the patience up to do a complete boss run of this game? That's the question. I return half of the fighting. Yeah, what Jim said. What's the difference? See, this guy's easy to... A Kondo's easy to defeat. You just gotta spam the crap out of him. Come on, Kondo. Come on. You aren't worth using a heat action on. Also, hello, King Crispy. Welcome to hell. We're fighting hobos. And what else are you gonna do in hell? 
the heck was that? What is he gonna do? I'm pretty sure he's pretty good. Is Potato Captain still here? Yeah, why? Uh, I don't know why, but I, my brain just legitimately was like, Megan, a Morgan hasn't said anything in a while. I'm watching you punch this guy in a puffer jacket, and I'm like, that's not fair, he's taking good armor on. Yeah, that's what we all that's what we all say! That's, that's her bare chest. Listen. You're like, bare chest, gotta fight for your life, and this guy's got a puffer jacket so he can absorb your blows. I know! And he's got, like, clothes on that's like, Somewhat layered, and it's like you just. I got no shirt or shoes. No service. But he still has his belt, so we're not breaking. So we are technically breaking the one fight club rule. Come on, asshole! I will defeat you. You're gonna cut his feet off. Yes. Stop running around! shoes. I'm like, swap running around like a bitch. That's my mo That's my fight style. Ah, the ever patented run away from danger ability. No, it's called it's called tactical rolling. No, that's just Dark Souls. Well, also Bloodborne. Fair Ta enough. Any Soulsborne game. Let's be honest. You could do it in Sekiro. Hmm. Yeah, that's a Molotov. Oh goody, we leveled up. Ah yeah. oh, yes, the Joe Star secret technique. We hightail it out of here, Smokey. Run like bitches! You're the worst superhero. It's me, run away from Danger Man. What? Yeah. You follow him to what? safety, done. To be fair, the secret technique was never. It was more than just the running, if you ever noticed. It always had an end plan. It only okay. appears to be running. God, I need a shit ton of points to get all these stupid images so I can be able to improve my fucking fighting styles! But it will be worth it. It will be. How do you get stronger? You gotta look at this picture. Uh, no. No, basically what it is is you get strong- you get these pictures, you give it to the freaking master who claims that these are originally his, and he teaches you fighting techniques. That is how it works. Allegedly. Allegedly. Ah! Uh. And as you can see, I have to make a lot of points. Because God hates me. Welcome to our chill stream of sad sadness, deprecation, and woe. Whoa. No self deprecation. Fine. Yeah, that's coming a very less chill. Yeah, everyone's like, this is twenty twenty, we do not twenty twenty two, we don't self deprecate. Oh shit, no, I don't want it to be twenty twenty again. It's twenty twenty two <laughs> no. electric no. blue. Not again. No, not twenty twenty, please. Not this whole shit again. No, I already learned how to bake. King Arthur did not come to our aid. Oh, what the fuck is that? May I Whatever add... it is, I don't like it. May I add in our time of need, King Arthur turned up, but in only in America. Why? Oh, because of the bread flour? Yeah. Yeah. Although their website has some really good recipes. Oh, by the way, Morgan, I sent you creatures. Do you have a day to look at them? I, yes, I have saved them. Did you remember to give them a loving pat on the head? I've added them to the folder. Okay. Yay, it is kind of bullshit that it's like only I can, f only I have to fight barefoot and no shirt on. Like, why does everyone else? Ooh! You should be able to steal their clothes afterwards. Just like, haha! Now I wear this. <laughs> Fuck you! This is my puffer jacket now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is a street fight, which means I can grab any weapon on the floor. Grab the nearest bike. I'm about to do my- if the nerd knows what I'm about to do, he knows one of my favorite fight styles. Bike. Bike foo. Yep. Oh, you asshole! Bottle of mystery liquid, go! Eat 
the Daruma doll, bitch! Be blinded by salt, for I am a salty bitch. I thought you were just assaulting him. You know, just for that, you get no you don't you get no princess points. Aww. Princess points? Yes, points of. I don't even know what princess points are. They're the points of a princess. I don't want any. We also yeah, have. You can have mine. There's also gremlin points. Oh yeah, no, I want those. I should imagine we've probably both both got a shit ton of them. Of gremlin points, yes. Die, motherfucker! I have a bike and I will use it as a weapon! What else are you gonna use it for? You just kicked it out of the fucking world. Don't worry, I have the comedically si sized cone. <laughs> Majima husband! Oh, good, I get to fight an American. The fuck? What? Y'all say? Why he so ripped with a luchador mask? Because, because America. To be fair, he is besides his help, besides his mask, he is now in the same plane as the shoe. <laughs> oh. He's also now also no shirt and no shoes, but belt. And two health bars. Well. Let me pick up the Sasquatch statue! Mm. Holy shit, that's a lot of oil. I really need to find a lantern now. Take that, slut! Mike. And I mean that in the nicest way. How can you be in slot in a nice way? He's a slut for pain. D to be fair. We do not slut shame here. I do. Disgusting degenerates. Fuck. You. Fucking. Whore. Of Babylon. I don't know. I'm running out of insults. This be a sex positive chat. No. You. I've done the math sex negativities now. It's time to shine. <laughs> this luchador is pissing me off. It's just... Sorry, you almost knocked down a health bar. Yeah, I knocked down one health bar and I'm dead. What kind of luchador Parker. fights like this? What kind of luchador fights like this? A cool luchador. Luchador open to different fighting styles. Thank you. Thank you. What I are you here for? Thank you. Okay. Someone who isn't actually a luchador and just stole his mum's helmet. <laughs> that makes sense. That's no. Does his there. mom have a ball <laughs> Me mummy bought me this. Good for you, sweetie. No, his mum's like a real big, like on video games and bought like a hat that reminded her of the Skyrim guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Better, better. He was into video games a lot. His mom wanted to buy him something for his birthday. She thought the horned helmet was a Skyrim helmet? <laughs> well, there's also the theory, and I like this theory. They only had so many models, and they had to put a mask on it to hide it. That actually makes way too much sense. If we want to be logical. What uh, about us ever indicated we'd want to be logical? Good point. A stage for candidates for future stadium head-to-head -head battles and rise to the top. The ferocious fights seen, seen in this cage are worthy of the title Scorpion. What does that mean and why am I scared? What? Eh, I'm sure it's fine. I mean, it means exactly what it says, so I don't know what you... If I, I don't know. I'm imagining Fuck. scorpions coming into the pit randomly. <laughs> 
just fear the scorpions! I said, don't say the fighting philosopher. Philosopher, yes, yes. A philosopher in fighting. You didn't get your philosophy in fighting? No. You s I will- If you keep kicking my ass like this, I'm just gonna continue plotting do Majima everywhere. How do you become a fighting philosopher? I don't remember that being available in college. I mean, you take philosophy, and then on the side you take Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu or something, I don't know. Capoeira! Why Capoeira? Because it's dance fighting and it looks pretty. And it's a representation of both dance and fighting and balance and zen and I don't know, Capoeira. Okay, now you're getting into the philosophy. See? See? There we go! <laughs> How come these people get to wear shoes? I want to wear shoes! No, that's illegal. Read the art of war, then discuss if it's only about war or life as well. It is about life as well. People use the art of war as a way to get through the freaking... ...business. I actually have the art of war. I need to keep reading it. Tell me when it gets to the good part. Well, it would be the good part of the art of war. <laughs> when suddenly everyone is shirtless. <laughs> All right, just you know, just simmer down, you thirsty bitch. I was about to say there's a bunker deem for a reason. God damn, this man punches like a freight train. Ow, thank you, Captain. You said you wanted a bunk. I gave you a bunk. Thank you. Bunk. <laughs> yes, I do. I have the sexy anime guy version. She's got the one told entirely by shirtless men wrestling in Greece. And there's like this whole chapter where it's women and it's really nice. I feel like you've just picked up a hentai book. <laughs> not actually the art of war. I don't know what's yeah. giving me this idea. No, no, you know, there's something about it that's hidden that for me as well, don't worry. Yeah. You're not the only one. <laughs> yeah, I picked up the art of war, Dojin. That's it. So generous, eh? Get away from me. <laughs> I do not have Zap Brannigan's <laughs> Big Book of War. I have culture. I at least know how to pronounce champagne. <laughs> Numbers disappear. Champagne. 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 Remember, if we hit that bullseye, the rest of the dominoes will fall like a house of cards. Checkmate. Checkmate. <laughs> Although, I would like to thank Zap Bradding again for his horrible pronunciation of champagne, because now I know how to spell champagne. It's either or, um, now if we could only undo the damage, nom nom nom, you know these would be great with some guacamole. Stop eating our offspring, and let's pronounce guacamole. I mean, I do, but I speak bourgeois. Oh yeah, you speak French. Bourgeois? The bourgeois. They're Quebecian! Bunch of Canadians out there who think they're French. That's just crazy to me. I'm gonna be honest. I had to use Quebec uh, to French as an approximation of what two different characters had with their uh, Elvish. One was proper high elf, which I was like, that's France. And then what you've just spoken to this character is the same as a Quebecian talking to a French man. <laughs> Fun. You're making the right noises, but nothing makes sense. <laughs> you for it. <laughs> yep. No, uh, the character I play in the D and D campaign I do on Thursdays, they're a they're a homebrew race called the Grimalkin, which are small cat people. And when I made my character, I made a joking introduction, going, "My name is too hard to pronounce in your language, but you may call me Marshmallow." Why and marshmallow. We act. It was a joke, and also named after my cat. Um, but then my, th the DM and I actually thought about it and go, well, your character is proficient in your language, Grimelkin, and not a lot of people speak Grimelkin. So what if Grimelkin act? The na the reason why your character calls themselves Marshmallow is because it's the closest thing to equivalent in Grimelkin, which then we decided 
the Grimalkin translation would actually be like small, fluffy, and white, which is a marshmallow. And then we thought about it for a while. <clears throat> oh, fuck. And we decided that Grimel the language of Grimalkin was Welsh. <laughs> because no one had Welsh yet. No. And that's the reason why people have issues pronouncing Marshmallow's actual name, because it's Welsh. Just someone spilled something on the keyboard. Basically, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Most of Welsh looks like someone's just dropped a bag of marbles on a keyboard anyway, so... Yeah. They dropped a Scrabble set. Which is funny, because, uh, yeah, it's just like... Uh, uh, uh. So, it has also led to some of the most unintentionally hilarious words I've ever known. Ah. Uh, Such as Popty Pink. Popty what? Popty Pink. It's a microwave. Ah, thank you. Thank you for translating the Welsh. Put it in the Popty Pink. I personally like the German word for birth control pill. Which is? Anti baby pillin. Yep. Anti baby pillin. I mean, say what you see. Jesus. Shit, the stupid, ugly, purple suit with yellow. What are you trying to be? A bee. Bees aren't purple. Be. Oh god, I'm at the final oh match. Oh shit, I'm it at the final match. Paint them. I'm at the final match. I, I didn't know I was at final match of this tournament. And I'm fighting the hurricane. The what? Yep. Okay, now, when you said the hurricane, I thought about the American pro wrestler, the hurricane. Oh, yes, Hurricane Helms. So now I'm actually disappointed. He's a Mexican fighter who fights luchador but doesn't wear a luchador mask, which means he most likely has been disgraced. Come on, big guy. Come on. We're going to fight like two men, shirtless. So take off your shirt and your pants. I mean, shoes. So take off your pants. What? <laughs> I meant shoes. Sorry. Japanese translation uh, error. Sure. Sure, that's what you mean. Ooh! That has to hurt. I won. What did I win? The love and adoration of fans everywhere. Gun. I like that prize more. This is Yakuza. Everything in this game gets solved with martial arts, not guns. A gun. <clears throat> really? Get solved with martial arts and not guns. I say as I'm highlighting the Marlin cannon. Shut up. <laughs> and, also, <clears throat> and also the modified model gun. Don't you bring your facts and logic into this. <laughs> a gun. But it is a gun. You have to accept we are using a gun. No, I refuse. <sighs> Sir, could you kindly fuck off? You're being a righteous douchebag. No. No. I'm busy right now trying to find out if there's anything I can wear that can make my outfit better. No, I cannot. What are you wearing? It's my ass kicking outfit, bitch. I love that. <clears throat> the only problem is I don't wear the good out the good stats unless they look good. I can't fight unless they look good. You gotta fight them and look fashionable while you're fucking them up. I gotta look good. Daniel Field. Oh wait, is this the guy who kind of looks like the Big Show? There's one guy in I don't this. Know. There's one guy in this in the hobo fights who looks a whole lot like the Big Show. If you happen to be a wrestling fan. I don't understand what wrestling is, so... I yep. don't know what I've seen from watching, like, really old videos of Raw with Dan in the early hours of the morning. Oh, those are great. Yeah. I found him, like, in a server just chilling and watching him, and I was just like, what the fuck? Oh, there's one it's guy in... Experience. Would you ever like to, to make you aware of him watching them again? Uh, no. Because he does do it on the regular. Oh, I'm aware Rit. he does it on the regular, he tells me about them. So here's a fun <laughs> fact, though. Fun fact. Fun fact. Uh, I had a fact and I forgot it. Fuck! That's a fun fact. Run, run, run. Hey, look, it's the big show. Where's the big show? 
Here's a bit. Oh, yeah, now I remember. Hey. So there's one server I'm in. One guy just randomly, like, streaming the sumo matches of the month. He just streams sumo wrestling. Sounds cool as hell. And I even asked him, he's actually really legitimately into it, right? And I asked him, because there was this weird thing that happened in 2020. Where there was this woman who okay. would go to sumo match. Okay. In the sumo wrestling world, a weird thing happened. Okay. Where this woman would come, and she would be dressed so elegantly at a sumo match. Like, it's a thing that old men enjoy. Let's be perfectly honest here. But she was dressed so elegantly at the sumo match, and I asked him, do you know anything about this? And, like, what happened? He goes, oh, yeah. That's this guy's wife. <laughs> I go, and we were watching a match with a sumo wrestler, and he goes, see that guy kicking that other guy's ass? Yeah. Well, the guy kicking that ass, that's his wife. I'm like, nice. that's sweet. Why does she dress elegantly? Because it's... Why? Because she treats it with, like, the greatest honor and everything. Fuck yeah. You're and, dating yeah, like a championship sumo wrestler. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, her husband is quite literally one of the best in the biz by the sounds of it. He was. And also, apparently... Also, she had all these outfits and they didn't go out, so she's like, you know what? I'm wearing these to the sumo match. And... Fair enough. Apparently brought eyes to the sumo wrestling world because of what she did. Because fashion. That, and it's like so weird to see a very well-dressed younger woman at a sumo match. Oh yeah, also audience, I have merch now. Nice. Spend money, bitches. Buy shit that I've designed. I would, but I currently need to fork out for a new oven. That's reasonable. Have a nice day. I also need to find the details for this oven and get the dimensions, because it's a built-in oven. Also, women are allowed at sumo. They're the dates. <laughs> no, women are allowed at sumo to watch it. But I guess what... The Japanese take some different approaches to some sports. Obviously, you've got, like, the, um, the sumo, which is... They're very much a legitimate sport, so to speak. Yeah. Japanese pro wrestlers are batshit fucking insane. Oh, there's one female Japanese wrestler. Her whole bit is she's an ex-idol and the idols get, got rid of her because she was too extreme. And like, When I say they're batshit, I mean... Okay, you know how the traditional thing is with wrestling? You pull your punches, right? Because you don't want to actually hurt who you're working with. Unlike hobo fights, yes. Japanese strong style wrestling, you don't pull both punches. There used to be a whole thing where there was a piranha match where you could dunk your opponent's yep. head in a piranha tank. Oh no, worse. Uh, the match would end once you'd got your opponent entirely in the piranha tank. The fuck? And they, say re and they think MMA fighting is badass. And yes, they did rile up the piranhas ahead of time, because both men bled and deliberately dropped their blood into the piranha tank. Because Japanese wrestlers look at our Western-style hardcore wrestling and pass in its general direction. It's like Western re generalization. We're going to do hell in a cell, Japanese wrestling. Hold my sake. Hold my sake. This is a exploding ring, barbed wire rope, time bomb death match. One of us will die. I'm not joking. That's basically the name of the fucking match. Wasn't there like that weird <laughs> if we're during Japanese wrestling, a guy just brings out a gun? That was it. A no rope. Uh, no rope exploding barbed wire time bomb death match. Exploding ring death match. Sorry. Ah, as, exp as, a as opposed to the exploding... Not ring match. Oh no, there are, there are explosions that aren't in the ring, but the gimmick is, at the end of a set timer, the ring will explode. Damn. Like I said, Japanese wrestlers just don't give any amount of fuck. How- well, they got good health insurance, that's why. <laughs> Have you seen how good Japanese health insurance is? No. Let's just say they can walk in- Not that I've ever needed it. Yeah, Japanese healthcare service is actually really, really good. Their healthcare is better than ours. And by okay, ours, that's not a hot. 
You're American, any country's better than yours. That is not a high bar, cat. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot dodging is an option. You're nearly an hour into this, what do you mean you've only just remembered dodging? Uh, it's called I Never Use It. <laughs> I said earlier, the dodge button, what's that? The block button, what's that? Oh yeah, the block button, sorry. My mistake. I'm being uh -huh. fucked up by an elderly woman and her birds. Don't like it. <laughs> Come on, I am not I am not dying to a guy who looks like a salvic man. What? I know two things about sumo wrestling as well, I just realized, and both of them technically come from pro wrestling. Is one of them involving salt? No, uh, okay, three things. Yeah. Um, uh, I know, actually, no, four, because I know the basic rules. Um, but I know the two honorific terms for certain ranks of sumo wrestler. Because that will help um, us in the future. And that is Rikishi and Yokozuna. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Yokozuna Ed from Ed, Ed and Eddie. What? No, but I think I got that from pro wrestling. There was a pro wrestler called Yokozuna. Yeah, there was a professional wrestler called. Ro Ro I almost said Rafiki. Rafiki. <laughs> the lesser. Yes, Rafiki, the man who would literally rub his entire asshole in your face. God, I hated that. It was funny when it happened to the bad guys. Well, yeah, it was great. You just sit there going, ha ha, you got his bum in your face. How do you feel? Well, fuck Not you! Not very good, I should imagine. Fuck. You. Asshole! I will make you beg for mercy! Keep punching me, dick! Is that an instruction? Nope, 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 nope. Did you just- Believe it, you do never give up. Who are you telling that to? Yes. I did it! I beat the Salvic man! I don't know if he's Slavic, but he is now. He was just like, what, that's good enough for us. Close enough. We did it. We kicked ass. I found another whirly gig saw. Well, that's going to still help us in there. In, in our time of I, need. I love the fact that all the things that you could have named a weapon, something a bit more intimidating sounding. No, we're gonna call it the Whirly Gig Saw. Would you rather call it the Pizza Cutter? We did it. Touche. We kicked ass. We took names. Whose name did we take? I kicked names and took ass. Uh. We don't need to know what you do in your spare time. I don't want to know what you did on New Year's Eve, buddy. Too late. Okay, I have to do one more fight, and then I can buy the snake painting. The snainting. The snainting, if you will. The snainting. Okay, the snainting puzzle. Uh, but it sounds. Bloodstone like... chunk. <laughs> yes, we are the phase. I mean, we got Morgan here. Morgan's a fay, I think. Morgan, are you a fay? Uh... Um... No, Morgan Le Fay is from King Arthur time. I, I, I was meaning because goblins, are goblins related to the Fae or am I stupid? You can Bro, I don't fucking know. I don't even know if I am a goblin. I just look like them. It was just like, yeah, I assume so. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Oh, I'm thinking gnomes. Thanks. I just turned the fuck up one day. And just was like, yep. This... Assigned goblin at identification. Signed Goblin at undetermined point. Bloodbath Wolf. I think we found a Japanese wrestler. Oh no, he's a boxer. I mean, I know there's an actual Japanese wrestler in Yakuza 6. Oh yeah. There's also a Japanese there's a Japanese judo fighter in uh, this Yakuza. Of course. 
And you did a whole side mission with him. You broke my statue of something. That's just rude. He should pay for a new one. But what was it of? I don't know, but it looked cool. Stupid boxers. Fucking. What are the boxers fucking? The box. Oh! I'll have you know my mother is a classy lady. Yeah, she is. That's why they're giving her a good time. <laughs> yeah, you, you got- Also still happily married. I don't know how to tell you this, but your dad is actually secretly an underground hobo boxer. <laughs> Look, what they do at their spare time to me now that you're outside the house. <laughs> <laughs> they're allowed to do whatever they wish. They're old enough. Damn, dude, you gonna fight me like that? Uh -oh. I can't- I, I dropped the CRT monitor. No! That's just kicking the shit out of you. Hang on, I've got an idea. Cat! What? Try winning! Are you thinking I'm gonna suddenly pull something out of my ass like that Golf with Friends episode? Hey, 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 have you tried? Have you tried to stab? I'm not allowed to use knives in this, this match. Blunt force only, which explains the motorbike. Yes, it's not like you can't make a sharp object out of a motorbike or anything. Yeah. Yeah. See? I told you to try winning. Oh, oh good. I get to fight the ferryman of purgatory again. What? Oh, this guy. Hit him with the bike. Flip him! Wait, hold on. You if he's- DDT his poor ass. Was I not supposed to? No, I'm just not that. I'm just happy that you did. How dare you beat him up? That BDMS mask was bought for him by his mother. BDMS? <laughs> ah. Oh no. You think I give a shit? This is not just a gimp mask. It's this my. This is an SM gimp mask. <laughs> yeah, it costs you like 80 quid more for cheaper materials. <laughs> He just back kicked me! Like a fucking well, mule! Back kick him back! With what? My winning personality! Your feet! Yeah. What else are you gonna kick him with? My winning personality. He just stepped on my nuts. Well, I hope you weren't looking to have children. Well, there is a joke in the fandom that Kiryu is the perpetual virgin because there's ne he never has a partner that live that he's. Confirmed, boinking. I sit here going, or he has and we just don't know about it. Or he's gay. Or he's ace. We shouldn't judge a man. Uh, uh, bachelor at birth. Yes. Also, King Crispy goes, a gimp suit, a cheap gimp suit makes your nips hella uncomfortable. You're talking from experience there, buddy. Yeah, it certainly sounds like it, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah, it it do it, it, it do be sounding like that. What the fuck are you? You're beating that motherfucker with a CRT monitor, and he just blocks it. I'm sorry, I didn't know I could block a CDRT monitor being thrown at my face. Didn't you? He just kicked. He just high kicked me in the face. Oh. oh, okay. Okay. What you say? I'm gonna I kick all your ass. Well. <laughs> well, good news, I got the next Grand Prix unlocked. I'm what gonna you need. What you say? I need the snake thing. Thank you. Just, just give me the snake. Just, just, just. Actually, no. Yeah, just give me the. Give me the Daruma. Daruama. 
There is literally a weapon I've just realized I picked up called the Boom Hammer. I have three. Ga I can tell you what it does. Is it a hammer? And does it go boom? It would make Heisenberg very happy. Brilliant. Like I said, Heisenberg already looks like he's out of fucking Bloodborne. And that's why we love him and want to do things to him. That's why you love him and want to do things to him. Excuse me? Am I wrong? Well, no, but excuse me? <laughs> I feel called out. You should. Literally, you are only ever horny on main. Why are you surprised? <laughs> No, it's become a running... Cat is constantly horny on main. Others call her out. Cat, surprise Pikachu face. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> like, bro, why you call me out? Bro! Bro! I'm just vibing you. Oh, hi, Num! You missed me getting <laughs> my ass kicked. You, you missed me getting my ass kicked by a guy in a gimp suit. Well, my computer crashed and my father also came at the same time being like, Hey, uh... you can both take shelf down. Like, alright, fuck. That explains yes, help it. The guy with the, ask the guy with the dead arm to come help uh, move shit. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, have you had your booster? That's yeah. why his arm is dead. Yep. Mine's, Mine's still going failing to die a bit. On the fourth. I'm having. Still... Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I was saying, mine's still feeling a bit fucky a couple of days later, but that's about it. I have yet to make an appointment because I'm having issues timing everything right. I got lucky. Um, I had an appointment booked uh, and then a drop in. Uh, came up and I was like, you know, what? I might as well just get it now. Yeah. So I did, and then I cancelled the appointment so someone else could have the time slot. Yeah, I had mine booked in the New Year for months, and then Mr. Bojo's like, all right, we're doing everyone before New Year, and I'm like, you know what? I can't be fucked. My appointment's literally just after New Year. Uh, we're fine. I mean, we we all knew that anyway. Anyway, time to eat tons and tons of meat to gain our health back. Yeah, Occasionally you give off the vibe of what's his name from um, the... Just like, I, you cannot fuck me, I am unfuckable. That's not true. We're gonna eat seafood, because it's I, good for you. I was gonna ask, you. who was that unfuckable comment aimed at? Me? Yes. You. Cat? No. She's open <laughs> to anything and everything is what I'm gathering here. Anything and any time at all, down. Especially people with ponytails and eye patches. Oi! He only <laughs> had... Oi, oi. I can't believe you're into pirates. First, <laughs> first off, Majima doesn't have a ponytail anymore. That's only in Yakuza Zero. Kawami onward, he doesn't. He has. So, I, so it's the eye patches that do it for you. Got no, it. no, it's the crazy. Although they, the rule. Okay. <laughs> dirty smelly boy. <laughs> uh... A psychopath with an eye patch. Got it. Uh, I'm not. Dirty smelly boy. I'm not into psychopaths. I swear. Are you sure about that? Yes. Do you want me to break oh. out? I'm about to say, do you want me to break out the list of characters I sent for? I can break out the yeah. list of characters I sent for. Wait. Based off of uh, Margin Mar, I've got one guess. What? You played Kingdom Hearts, right? Yep. Zigbar. Fucking hated him. Oh, really? Just by the fact he looked like a slightly different Margin Mar. I mean, he's not that bad looking and all that jazz, but his personality is... Nah. No, from Kingdom Hearts, the man I lusted for was Luxord, the card-throwing Englishman. <laughs> Understandable. I did too. He is hot. I am currently writing fan fiction. I, I also hardcore simp for Axel, but then again, so did everybody else. I hate Axel. I hate I Axel. Love Axel. Axel reminds me of these assholes I went to high school with. So it's immediately like I do not like you. You know what I mean? Understandable. Have a day. Thank you. What, 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 what? I'm not gonna sit here and say you're wrong. No, I'm ta I'm, I'm reacting to gonna... I'm reacting to chat right now. Shh. What kind of douchebag would that make me? Hmm, crazy guy with an eye patch. That sounds familiar. Take care, boss. Who the hell are you talking about? <laughs> you know, I'm not into every guy with an eye patch. For the love of God, I do Nick have. Nick Fury. Meh. Nah. Basically Samuel L. Jackson with an eye patch on. Yeah, I was about to say, that's just Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> if you're into Samuel L. Jackson, you're into Nick Fury. Solid and Mace Windu. Exactly. I think, I still stand by it. What Nick, what Nick Fury, what Samuel Jackson part could not be improved by letting him curse? I want, I wish he was in the newest version of the Star Wars series so he could just say, fuck! Just come back as a fucking force ghost. I don't care. He never learned how. Oh, that we know of. 
I mean, according to because of the novelizations, we actually know which of the Jedi Horde first found out. Mm. <laughs> it was Qui Gon. He okay. never learned all of it. Okay, Chris. But yeah. you know that whole thing in Episode Three where Yoda's like, "Your old mentor has learned the path to immortality." He's like, "Qui Gon." He's like, "Yep, that's what that was about." Oh. Doing that allowed both Yoda and Obi Wan to become Force ghosts, although it doesn't explain Anakin. Assholery. <laughs> Pure assholery means he gets to come back. Let's and then, see. depending on when you watch it, he's either his, you know, actual old self, or he's just Hayden Christensen again. Okay, hold on, hold on. Audience, I'm gonna have to drop a truth bomb on you, and you can judge me for it. I've never played a Metal Gear Solid game ever. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. yeah I've but... played one Metal... Actually, no, I played Metal Gear Rising. So yeah, that that's the one count. I played. I sit here... Yeah, but... that's about me. Yeah, I was about to say... I, I, they go... I, I go, no, wait, I have played a Metal Gear game. Which one was it? I don't know. It was a yep. white-haired guy. He was running around as a cyborg in heels. Yep. <laughs> that's basically how I just... <laughs> do I want to play as a gruff man doing sneaky things, being very cautious, or do I want to play a game about cyborg ninja flip-outs? Who basically Sorry, sets giant, excuse giant, me. Who the fuck robots, plays man? Metal Gear Solid and sneaks around? What? Hard you just kill everyone until you're stealth. What are you on about? Ooh, goody, we get a tournament. Oh, what's I'll this? I'll be one? noticed if there's no one to notice you. Uh, a hot tournament with an elaborate gimmick where the heated mat grows hotter and hotter as time progresses. Fighters take damage if they fall, so matches here become intense. I'm wearing no shoes, and you're gonna put me in a jerk in a fighting match that involves fire. Oh, oh. Shoes. you've never heard of I've never you've never heard of a Taipei death match, have you? No, I know what a Taipei death match is, I think, maybe. Enlighten the children. Uh, a Taipei death match is basically a standard fist fight where both participants tape off their hands. Their hands are then dipped in glue. Ew. And they then dip their hands into broken glass. Because they hate themselves and want to hurt everyone. Uh, because Fuck you, why not, I guess. And RKO or DDT or whatever that wrestling move is. DDT. DDT. More games should allow you to have an RKO out of nowhere option, though. I would love this game to suddenly, like, Kiryu knows RKO! What? Just any game, no context, just add a, just press X to RKO this motherfucker. No, just just imagine it for a second. And there it comes, Sora with the RKO. <laughs> no, fuck it, super kick. It's a slightly bad round of no definition. Plus, it's just fun things on teeth fly out. And then suddenly, <laughs> sweet shit music is done by Luxord. Of course, you make it Luxord. Why Cause, not? Because he's sexy. And then comes Zigbar with the with, with the tombstone pile driver. I'm trying to find out who the fuck Luxor is and it just keeps coming up in places in Egypt. Uh, it's L-U-X-O-R-D. O-R-D. Oh, there's a D on there. Yeah, pardon my accent, I don't pronounce days. It looks like the guy that you find at Walmart and he's telling you that this chicken is his and you can't touch it. This is my chicken. That's not- that's not what he looks like! He looks like a very classy Englishman! Okay, speaking as a classless Englishman... <laughs> no, hang on, I'm putting this guy in chat like, this is- this is Luxord, right? Hang on, let me see him. He looks like he came out of Jersey Shores. HOW DARE YOU?! <laughs> Don't insult my taste like that! No, hold on, I'm gonna go look up Jersey Shores, I'm gonna go find what he looks like. You asshole, do not ruin my hunk. I've been working on this 35 chapter fan fiction, damn it. Jersey Shore. Yeah, he looks exactly like those kind of people. No, he doesn't. He looks yeah. like one of those guys who hangs out at Hot Topic. No. And when I mean hangs out at Hot Topic. No, you're the one who looks like he hangs out at Hot Topic. That is Axel. Got it. I'm hold an orange next to this man's face. There's no color difference. There is a color difference, you jerk. I've done enough oh. artwork of Bluxord naked, I know what he looks like. But I just Excuse admit- you? Excuse me? I've never drawn Luxord naked, I've drawn pinups of him and he had pants on. Ah. Uh -huh. I think well, he- you need to tell yourself? I'm legitimately now going through my mental archive of artwork I've done of Luxord to see if I actually have drawn him naked. Does cheeky butt cheek count? 
ask, then the answer is yes. He looks like he draws on his eyebrows. Everyone in Kingdom Hearts looks like they draw on their eyebrows. He is, however, one of the very few uh, Final Fantasy, like, uh, Square Enix characters with enough testosterone to grow his own beard. Yep! Just imagine that beard growing. I stopped myself. I'm, I'm proud of myself in that one. Okay, okay, so we've learned a very valuable lesson. What is the- What's that lesson? My ass is easily kickable in when there's fire involved. Only someone who isn't. Who's that guy that's made out of metal in that one fighting game? Nah. No, wait. Descriptive, thanks. What? That, that... Descriptive, thanks. <laughs> no! That's such a, I'm about to say, that's such a great description right there. He's a robot in Mortal Kombat. Please spot the difference between the orange and the other orange in this picture, please. <laughs> what is clearly a much deeper shade of orange? And no. Oh, you're right, he's more like a peach. One moment. Also, it does look like he's staring very intently at his snack. <laughs> yes, I'm going to enjoy the shit out of this orange. Excuse me, just puts a little picture beside my- replaces the orange with myself. Please, Luxard, look intensely at me. There, I got it on my system. Thank you. PNG. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Do not make your. S <laughs> Listen, if you need Luxor's <laughs> fat. Art <laughs> I yes! don't like that. <laughs> I'm gonna regret this. Oh god, I'm regretting this already. I'm gonna look on my screen and just see a Luxord, aren't I? Probably. <laughs> Everyone just become Luxord now. No, I'm no. That's not what I'm doing. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> what are you doing? That's Kremlin photoshopping according to Daycare Boss. Come here, my PNG orange. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you're putting Luxor's face on the orange. <laughs> I hate all of you. <laughs> Keep canvas size. No, you don't. I love you all pa platonically, but right now I want to just smack you all with a goober point. Why does, Ax Why does this picture of Axel look like he's about to deep throat some ice cream? I don't need that image in my head right now. <laughs> Replaces Axel with Luxord. Ah, oh, it's better. I, I, cannot, I cannot word that any other way. The motherfucker looks like he's about to deep throat this ice cream. I don't know. Maybe not use the term deep throat. Maybe inhale. Right. Inhale is a no. good word. No, 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 no. You look at the secret text channel and you'll see what I mean. Oh, God, I'm going to hate myself. I'm I'm a nerd on this one. Oh uh, yeah, I'm in. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm on uh, I'm I'm on Tim on this. He even has the eye contact. Like, oh, you ready? Yeah, you, yeah. You, you watching? You, you, you're gonna see. The, you're gonna be fucking. You're gonna blow away with this shit, man. Look. Yeah, he looks. He this looks. Could be us, but you playing. Exact. No, it's like you want to see me eat this ice cream at one sh gulp, and that's basically it's his excuse to show off his deep throating skills. I have no cackery left. Out. <laughs> We're all going to prison, aren't we? Yes, You're going to prison. I'm going to Photoshop hell. You're I'm already- I'm going to regular hell. Does that count? Yes. Excuse me while I buy- also, a, His weapons look horrifically impractical. Whose? Axel. Well, yeah, they're two tambourines. Oh, yes, I'm so intimidated. Okay, what fucking tambourines have you seen that look like this? Well, they're technically supposed to be chakrams, but as a, as a freaking Xena warrior princess fangirl that I am, I do not call them chakrams. Chakrams do not have those pointy bits at the end. Okay, a cl okay. Syax's weapon is called a claymore, alright? Oh, as someone who has even a passing interest in bladed weapons, that is not what a claymore looks like. Oh, don't show him. Don't, I was about to say, how do you how, how, tell us what, how you really feel. That, not that type of claymore. <laughs> right. Here, look, a picture of two gra of a guy giving another guy a wedgie. No reaction. That's good. For point, a point of reference, Alan, is you also have a passing knowledge in bladed weapons. 
This is what they call a claymore. I'd like to point out, it's in... I'd like to point out, you should never take the name seriously. Take the brush. It's not called a claymore. What is that? <sighs> okay, just for that, we're going to the baseball ca cages. We're gonna play baseball and be happy. I've not understood happiness since I was a boy. What is happiness? It's a... It's a... Aside from something you shout and point at when a man takes his trousers off. <laughs> ha, penis! Ha, penis! I thought that's where you were going with it. I just wanted confirmation. Is playing baseball euphemism... Yes, it is. Excuse me while I just get my finger ready to uh, take any screen grabs of husband. Holy sh- And ovaries. How hard do you simp for this man? Kiryu is also simpable. Not as much as Majima. But listen, Kiryu just stopped the baseball back being swung at him by using his own arm. How is that not hot to you? Because I didn't see it. Okay. That would be more concerning than anything. I'm about to fight a guy with a baseball bat. My dude, I fight Luxor, not uh, Luxor. I fight Majima on the regular. If you're the best man at your mate's second wedding after being best man at the first, is it okay to start the speech with, welcome back everyone? <laughs> yes. Especially. <laughs> oh, did you just see that? Finally? Yes. <laughs> Don't leave that. Like, especially if it's the same group of friends. You know what I mean? Oh, the, 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 the image used is, well, yes, but actually no. Wow, you are so easy to fight. Fighting hobos has made me stronger. How's that for a no contact quote? Listen, when I become- Fighting hobos has made me stronger. I was about to say, if I ever become famous enough for a cat out of context Twitter, they're going to have a field day with half the shit I say. Fair enough. Especially anything involving me being horny on main and not, my brain not thinking properly. You think properly? No. I have compared men's booties to objects that are eaten in Japan that are called mochi. There are worse things to compare them to. Ooh. Oh no, I missed the eyebrows. What are you doing? I've given my guess, I just want to find out when it gets posted if I'm right. <laughs> How is this a high quality shit post? This is a high quality shit post. How is this a high quality shit post? Oh wait, no, shit posting is about one of the few things you do put a lot of effort into. Who? I also put effort into my D&D. &D. I said one of the few things, to be fair. <laughs> you spend more five minutes on it, it's a quality shit post. D&D &D shit posting and- Oh, what are these wankers? It's a bunch of chavs, but Japan edition! You'll see. Hearing wanker in an American accent still sounds weird to me. Would you like me to do a British accent and offend you further? Would you like me to do an American accent and offend you forever? Listen, I already heard your American accent. You sound like you're from Minnesota, Wisconsin, and the mid Midwest area. <laughs> yeah. You okay? <laughs> Did daycare boss? Okay. Cheers there, Morgan. <laughs> Alan, did you just clip me going fighting hobos makes me stronger? I am scared of what is about to happen. File save as PNG. Oh, no. <laughs> it's the file name. Nut kick! Done. Okay. 
post it. I want to see this. It is. Show the shame to the audience. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked over. If I want. He just got a really bad sunburn. <laughs> I hate all of you. Morgan, oh one day I'm going to find out who you simp for and make fun of you for it. What a Ouija come at me. <laughs> Wah! <laughs> you want to see some of the artwork I've done for him? No, no. <laughs> I, I will show you what I've made for my boy. I'm getting my ass kicked by a bunch of teenagers. I want to point this out. I turned you into Renaissance art. <laughs> Remind me to send you for the longest walk. Wah. I've seen that. Have you seen Juan, Juan de Moore? Yep. They're all by the same guy. But they're really good and well composed. Renaissance one. <laughs> Birth of Adam has never looked so good. Wow. Yeah. Fucking leader has a self-healing thing? Fuck you! Only I'm supposed to heal myself in the middle of battle. That's it. You're all going to Pound Town. Excuse me? I mean Poundland. You say that, but like I'm seeing you get your ass kicked an awful lot though. Yeah, they're pounding on him. Oh right, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that was accurate. That's what you meant, right, Kat? Yeah. I'm not talking to you. I'm busy concentrating. <laughs> My friend? She doesn't want to look at a boy being an orange. <laughs> he's a peach, not an orange. We established he's this. He's an orange. No, he's an orange. He's an orange now. I'm Part, <laughs> you asshole! <laughs> Not you! Talking about the guy who basically is going to be stepping on Lakos for the rest of his life. Your mother buys you Duplox instead of Legos! My mother was a sweet lady! She knew I couldn't deal with Legos! I like the fact you didn't give a nose either. He needs a no- he's just gonna, No, he'll just smell oranges at that point. He doesn't need one. He, he's above and beyond Mar Mar Morgan, I don't know how to tell you this, but I am um, massively allergic to oranges. So you hurt me oh, even wow. further. Good. Stop being so fucking horny. Why have I got a this picture? Wait, the things... only way is Essex, that's where he's from. Of all the things that I have an image of, this is something I've just found. Is it one of my artworks? No, yeah. it's just Yoshi bitch slapping bells. Yeah, that was your Discord thing for a while. It was. And then you decided no, you to watch it and you immediately changed it to your Discord. Anyone minus me hungry? Should I eat the flesh of a human? Yeah. Nah, Next question. This is really annoying me now, this stupid fight! <laughs> what? Come on, come on! Stop kicking my ass! Stop being better than me. Fuck off! I am going to eat your flesh. I am going to rip off your head and poop in it! I have not done demonic. I am fine. Okay. Partially you sure about that, Vachy? <sighs> Lockswords facial hair reminds me of Guy Ferrari. Okay. STOP THAT! <laughs> Why don't you put them together? Whoever's dying is an orange. I need a cookie. Oh! Um, I know I've told you about this before, uh, Morgan. The D&D uh, and D&D and D, &D, &D, &D game. Kids. Dungeons, Dragons, Drive-Ins, Dives, and... What's the other one? Dive-Ins, Drive-Ins, and Dives. Dino-Shrivens, and Dives. 
Thank you. Uh, basically, uh, we started off the game in a at an inn. Um, the inn was then promptly picked up and carried away by a dragon. Uh, because this dragon's horde is restaurants. The dragon then uh, basically you came in. Have a good in. stream, Al. You have a good day, Alan. Say goodbye to Alan, everyone. Bye bye, Alan. Uh, have fun bye with armor. Bitch. Have fun with armor. Behave. Don't do anything stupid. He's in charge of this. He's using food for me. Fucking that good. Oh, well, all right then. Oh, he's sleepy. Everyone, tuck him in. Fight, bitch. I am going to kick everyone's ass. Why? Because they keep fighting me, so I have to fight them back. It's the rules of the streets of Japan. But I'm not fighting you. Are you currently in the Yakuza game? You don't know. Maybe. To be perfectly honest, if they were suddenly a Draco Lich in the Yakuza game. I would not be partially phased. I am the ultimate dragon style. I mean, yeah, but... Kiryu, you want to learn ultimate dragon style? You must fight me, the Lich King! You can be the Lich Dragon King. I would put a I was gonna say I'll put a teeny tiny tiara on your head. I want a tiara. The kings have responsibility to do shit. You're the king of the dust bunnies under your bed. That's uh, still okay. The, the, the oh, issue is more with the title. They're an organized society. They don't need my help. <laughs> shit is expected of a king. Okay. No, what did Numb say? They're already an organized community. They don't need my help. You're just a figurehead like the Queen of England. <laughs> there is no Tooth Fairy, there is no Easter Bunny. <laughs> and there, there is, is no, no Queen, Queen of, of England! England. <laughs> <laughs> Still my favorite fucking quote from that. Ooh, I've never been in this restaurant before. It looks nice. <gasps> they have croissants! They have croissants! Croissants! And it's playing Christmas music. I forgot this game is technically set in Christmas time. This will sell and wine. What? Christmas time. This will sell and wine, etc. Ah. Tomato juice is added to a beer and a red eye, making it refreshing and an easy to drink cocktail. Ah, cocktail. Tail. Uh. Created by mixing lemon and soda with kabu and whiskey. This is large drink will leave you totally satisfied. Uh, this highball is created by mixing lemon and soda with whis ya Yamazaki whiskey, served in a bronze tumbler that keeps it cool. Drink. Here, Nam, you can drink the orange juice. I don't want the orange juice. Fine, here's a glass of water. Yay. It has a lemon in it. Yay. I'm really looking for food. Ooh, though, there's a food menu! <gasps> they have fresh mozzarella caprese, fresh octopus carpaccio. Spicy Hawaiian sausage. What the fuck is a spicy Hawaiian sausage? I don't know. Ask a Hawaiian man to take his trousers <laughs> off. A crispy crust extra cheese pizza. Fish and chips. And shrimp and octopus aijilu. It, it, it's shrimp and octopus cooked in garlic and onion oil. I was going to say, shall we go full on English and have fish and chips? Mom has Swiss rolls! And you're sharing with me I have to share. Yes, you have to share. Ugh. Are you your stream? Yes, I am. Yeah. Why? Gotta get sissy shower and I'll open the video shower. Okay. Hi, Cat Mom. Everyone says hi. Hi, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Screw everyone. I have a Swiss roll. Nice. So we're gonna have fish and chips because we're English. And by we, I mean two fourths, one half of the stream is English now. I've never identified any as English in my life. 
Fine, we'll eat the pizza. You were assigned English at birth. I was gonna say, fine. No. Fine, we'll eat the pizza. Everyone likes pizza. Lactose intolerant people don't. This is like... <sighs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know how to tell you this, but every lactose intolerant person I know still eats cheese. They're like, it's gonna I, hurt! I, bet it, I could try and refute that, but yeah, no. Yeah. I have a friend who, when they went on a, the, one of their first dates they have with their current partner, he took her, he took them to a uh, fondue restaurant, right? Jesus. <laughs> and I go, does he not know that you're lactose intolerant? Nope. You're gonna tell him before the date? He waited months to get this this reservation. We're eating. And, and and that's when their now partner found out that they are lactose intolerant. And that's and that my friends is how he I met your mother. I don't know. I'd be surprised if you met my mum at a fondue restaurant. She's allergic to cheese. I'm sorry for your... I thought it was one of those things that you said is uh, particular, particular types of cheese. It is. I just can't be bothered to go into it, so I just said cheese to make my life easier, but you decided to poke a prod, so I might as well explain now. She's allergic to rennet, so she's allergic to most hard cheeses. Aww. I told you about my friend who's basically allergic to that small percentage of... Uh, Insect matter that's allowed in chocolate. Mm. There's bugs in your chocolate. Dun dun dun. Clearly, your ch clearly this chocolate was made by Bethesda. It's <laughs> full of bugs. <laughs> Less than ten percent is in chocolate, so therefore it wasn't made by Bethesda. <laughs> okay, I wonder. There's coffee in this game. If I drink the coffee, will I not be drunk? Mm -hmm. Do you want boss? Do you want boss rainbow mountain coffee or boss black mountain co black co coffee? Woo! Uh, what's the first one, boss? Rainbow mountain. Yes, that one. Yeah. We're about to see something. Will I get sober by drinking this coffee? 90% sure that's not how sobriety and coffee works, but... Oh my god, it works in-game. You can get sober by drinking coffee! What? I didn't say anything. My plushie's staring at me. What the heck is this exclamation point? Oh yeah, fighting people in a card game, which is sexy and uncomfortable. Hey Morgan, want to see a freaking uncomfortable, sexy bug fighting game? No. Okay. Want to see a bunch of weird monkey plushies? Wait, hold on. Go back to that bug fighting game? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, sorry. Looking at it from the side, it just... What? Looking at the side, what? I just... Hang on a moment. That machine looks very familiar, along with some of the bug cards. So I'm very fucking confused. Can you actually play that game? Yes. Can, can you play that game, please? Okay. By the way... Well, you have to wait to make that child stop looking at you. He's unnerving me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do a practice run. on it and then it's basically like rock paper scissors yep that's what this game is is this game is basically this little mini game is a parody of that game 
Okay, cool. I'm not losing my mind. Thank you very much. Um, you can stop that. <laughs> I can't stop. We have to continue the fight. I can't stop the fight. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. I have a plan. Oh, no. That just makes me more worried. The plan is to either A, kick ass, or die trying. The stag beetle one I got, and it was very, very fucking good. I wonder if I still have that card somewhere. Because I played that game a lot at that arcade. Yeah. Until they took it away. Yeah, that game was a big thing in Japan, actually. I'm basically trying to lose. I'm failing at it. Can I? Which stag beetle are you? I'm the, uh, giraffe stag beetle. Oh, I can exit oh. the game. Thank god. Yeah, I noticed something interesting. We'd unlocked Morgan's childhood. Morgan's childhood. Except for it just wasn't sexy beetles. It was just actual beetles. Yeah, it was that. Yeah, the act Which was way cooler. Yeah. I sit here going, why don't we have the actual beetles? We want the beetles. I'd be honest, I'd be tempted to get I'd be tempted to actually get Yakuza if they had the actual Beetle game there. Nah, sadly. Just so that I could pay, play the Beetle game. Nah. Although in Yakuza 5, there's really good fishing. And you can fight a Kodiak bear. I've got enough games which allow me to fish. But can any of them let you fight a Kodiak bear? What's a Kodiak bear? A really big bear. Then Guild Wars does, yes. But can you run a nightclub? If I join a role playing group, yeah. Back off, back off, back off, back off, back off, back off. I'm gonna kill you, Mori! You are not the father! That made sense in my head. Of course. Yeah. I'd like to point out, no blood stains on his suit. Oh yeah, that little kid. Okay. Yeah, let's just abandon the small child right now. This sounds horrible, but there's a purpose to that. No, there isn't. Plot, 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 plot. We're actually gonna do some plot. Because we love ourselves, right, audience? No. Yeah. Thank you, Al- th 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 Thank you, Tim. Motherfucker, did you just call me Alan? No, I did not. Alan's way cooler. Agreed. Oh, <sighs> how dare you say that about Alan? What? Yeah, you're right. He's a turd, too. No, I was, I, I was trying to go for the whole, how dare you say you're not cool enough. I didn't say I wasn't cool. Alan's just cooler than I am. But you're super cool. You are wrong, said the fat controller. Now we're going to brick you up into a fence because you refuse to move from it. Funnel, but yeah. That game was really weird. You want to know a weird thing about? No, wait. It's not. It's not the Thomas the Tank Engine makers. It was actually the Berenstein makers. Do you want to know a weird fact about the Berenstein Bear, Arthur's? What the fuck are the Berenstein Bears? Was this not a thing in your neck of the world? Not to my knowledge, Morgan. Any idea? Huh? It's about a bear any family. Idea? The Berenstein Bears. Are you familiar at all? Uh, only that they're a part of the. Mandela effect? Oh. Do you not know the Mandela effect? I, I know what the Mandela effect is, but how are they part of it? Uh, the whole, like, misspelling of their names. Oh. Some people remember it as Berenstein, not Berenstein. Fair enough. There's also... One of the bigger ones in the Mandela effect. Yeah, just like how there is a, uh, movie starring someone called something. Fuck, I can't remember. I'm dumb. Wow. This is much, very descriptive. Much descriptive. 
you, know, you need to understand. Unfortunately, I've never seen a film in my life. Not true. We have recorded evidence of you actually watching freaking Nosferatu. So you've at least. Are you sure? Fake news. Someone called, it was someone called Megan there. I don't know who you're on about. Look, this is all clearly fake news, okay? All right. Oh, it was just a body double. Also, be right back. I have to go do a thing and grab a thing and murder a person. Okay, there won't be murder. Uh, entertain the audience. No. Fine, sit there in awkward silence. Thank you. Hello? Is everything, Hello. Okay? Is everything okay? Yes, everything is fine. Oh, uh, Morgan tried to redeem the, uh, the Kirby visit, but the Kirby visit doesn't work on that screen. No. I'll fix it. Give me a second. I'm gonna cook me some pasta. Yay? Yes, it is yay, because, you know, that means I'm eating. Eating children is good for you. Oh, did Morgan leave or something? Morgan's gone to get food as well. Ah, uh, okay. Why does everyone keep thinking I'd be into Solid Snake? Uh huh. Eye patch. Also, why does it say Numb is still here? Because Numb is still in the chat. I'm a moron. Clap, clap, clap. This is my kitty cat. This is his kitty fat. It goes pat, pat, pat. What? Yes. Right, so, oregano, sage, what else can I put in here? Parsley. Dill. Pickle? Unfortunately, I'm out of parsley. Salt, pepper, rosemary, thyme. Are you just listing herbs now? Mar mar margarine. What? Marjan, margarine, majimabu. Do you mean, do you mean margaram? That one. <laughs> Listen, I got there in the end. Also, I'm making a red pasta sauce. <laughs> oh, it needs spam, according to people. What? According to Crispy, yell at him, not at me. I'm an innocent bean for once. On a very few times. Mm, I know, right? Okay, we're going to go into a club <clears throat> full of women and men. <laughs> we are socializing! Mm, sure. Socializing! This music sounds generic. It's ints, 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 ints. that kind of music. Boots uh, and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants. A hook cat. Yes. No, then boots and caps and boots and caps. You don't want to use force? Okay, I will. I want to use the force. I just learned how to do force lightning, bitch. Fuck yeah. I know that's something that you could do as a member of the Yakuza. <laughs> well, technically, we've already established in the alignments when it comes to the Jedi. Kiryu is a gray Jedi leaning towards light. Not full on light Jedi. What's Majima then? Sith. But not like <laughs> evil Sith, but like Sith with good intentions. Dark Jedi. So what? Yeah, Dark Jedi, basically, yeah. Because someone pointed out going, Majima has very much uses a lot of his emotions, while Kiryu doesn't, so, you know. And Majima does have standards. So he can't be full on Sith. And Oviaries. Yeah, I pepper. We're fighting the Yakuza! I thought you were the Yakuza. We're the Yakuza fighting other Yakuza. Makes sense. We're fighting the bad Yakuza. 
sure, because there's such a thing as good Yakuza. Shut up! Don't think about it! We've talked about this. Too late, I'm thinking about it. Damn! I just got slashed in the ass! I love how it gives me health items like I'm not already fat with stacks of health items. Have you got hashtag fat stacks? Oh yeah. Alright assholes, who wants to get their ass kicked by a man in a gray suit? Nobody? Nobody wants to get their ass kicked? By a man in a gray suit? Just in general. Do you want the for example, do you want to get your kicked? No. You that? Ain't nobody got time for that. And you just delete us. Asshole, are you using a knife on me? That's just rude. What is this? England? South hey. London! <laughs> Am I wrong? No, you're not. You're just a bitch. Yeah, but you love me anyway. Yeah. I'm a sweet bean. Keep telling yourself that. Uh, I will throw a chair at you. You have to throw it pretty fucking far. There's great big there's a fucking ocean in your way. There's an ocean? Yes! The Atlantic Ocean. Ah. Uh. You said you were gonna throw a chair at me. God damn it, you guys are assholes. I don't like any of you. Are you talking to us or the game? Game. Last time okay. I checked, you're not using a knife on me. Yes. Ever. <laughs> you asshole. I will kick all yep. your asses! Okay. God dang it, you're making me mad! And you wouldn't like Cat when she's mad. Cause then the voice modulator comes out! Oh boy. Jesus Christ on a pogo stick! Why a pogo stick? Because it's good for your abs. Is it? I don't fucking know. DDT! Will the man with the knife please stop shanking me? No, shank, shank. Someone activate my stab attack. You activated my stab card. I'm sorry, when it was stabbing legal in Yu Gi Oh! Fuck you! I mean, there is a card called Thousand Knives. And Swords of Revealing Light. And Swords of Concealing Light. And just Sword. Kunai yeah. with Chain. Kunai with Chain. I can't not say that like Joey. Like you can't say it's Baby Dragon. God. Kunai with Chain. Just like you can't say Baby Dragon. It's a Baby Dragon. Die, die, die. Time Wizard does not work like that, by the way, universe. I know Time Wizard. Hello, Morgan. Hello, we're talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! While getting our ass kicked by a guy with a knife. I drew a pot of greed. Can someone tell me what it does? No, no one knows. Pot of greed basically lets you draw two cards without sacrificing any. It's does it? Yeah, it's illegal in tournaments but now. No, but no one knows what Pot of Greed does. They I clearly have to explain it each time. Well, yeah, because, you know, it's one of those, it's a, because that's the thing in Yu-Gi-Oh, they explain. There's a joke in here that's happening, and Cat, being her autistic self, is not noticing the joke right now, isn't she? The, the joke was me being like, I use Pot of Greed, and someone would be like, Pot of Greed? What is this? <laughs> and then Tim is explaining it like the third character who explains exactly everything about Pot of Greed. My autistic ass didn't notice that. I am so sorry. Stop speaking gibberish words. It's, um, I think the best way to say it. 
Cyrus plays Pot of Greed and explains what it does, but it's not found. Yeah, uh, although Pot of Greed wasn't used in DX, because that's when Pot of Greed started becoming illegal in tournaments, and so you had Jar of Greed. No, they used Pot of Greed. Okay, so... Dank Kush of Greed. I wish I had some Dank Kush. What? Do you live in a state where that's legal? If I have the right fucking med medical condition. Which, while technically yes, I have to go through a long, lengthy process proving that other options are not avail are not working for me, so we have to do this. It's basically, congratulations, this is the last resort. Cut my life into pizza. This is my- no, cut my life into pizza. This is my, this plas is my, my plastic, plastic spork. Ah, uh, the little random humor. We're, you, you come for it. Uh, it's been a- you're- Kind of a date, a fairly dated internet reference nowadays. It's just I can have cheeseburger. I love that one yeah. though. The thing is though, I'm glad we moved away from it because cats speaking in high Victorian English and not understanding yeah. a lick of what they're saying is way funnier. Mother cares not for us. We are skin and bone. Yeah, but but why not have both? It's um, what is it? It's meat. Oh, you can't come on me for meat. Me cool, me mother. Me me <laughs> ah, did you get? Did you follow the update where she ate a fucking lizard? What? What? All right. So, minute. Um, the cat. She got really fucking. She got really fucking sick. She wasn't eating for several days. Diona got really, really fucking worried about her and thought, Oh God, this is this is it for my baby girl. Take it to the vet. The vet does some blood works, and it's like, um. Do you often get lizards around your house? And it's like, yeah. It's like, okay, um, you need to find a way to stop your cat eating them because she's just gotten high as a fucking kite. You can get high on lizard? Cats can. Lucky them. Wherever they live, there's a type of lizard that if a cat ingests it, it makes them really sick, but also incredibly fucking off their rocker. Also, this woman is wearing a full denim dress. That is terrifying. How the fuck does she pee? Well, it has buttons. Morgan. <laughs> Yeah. Dill in red sauce, yes or no? Uh, depends. I tend to only really use dill if fish is involved, but that's more of a personal choice. Or uh, a feminine. Um, What's currently going in there is currently just sage and oregano. And tomatoes. Well, it's a red sauce, that's a given. It could be made no. from a... Could be made with red peppers. Or blood of your enemies. Actually, that would turn brown in cooking, so no. Okay, never mind. Dude, and no, brown, no, no, brown, no, no. And brown no. Or something else Everyone, look away, look away, look away, audience, look away. Why? Why? Uh, never mind. I thought. For, for whatever reason, this is why I have the avert thine eyes page. No, the avert thine. But the problem is, subtitles are needed. Ah. <laughs> and just read them out. You cover the screen. Out to us. I thought he was about to. Story time. I was about to say he's about to. Uh, he was about to chop his finger off. Good news, he didn't chop his finger off. All oh, right. You know that thing that, that yakuza right. do. For correction, it's not a cutting finger off; it is shortening the finger. I will shorten your finger. And how do they shorten the finger? They cut it. The tip. Exactly. So you're cutting part of the finger off. I can't believe it! I yakuza my thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> no, it has to be like up to the first knuckle. Are we now turning the word yakuza into a verb? Well, hello, handsome. Hi, I'm right here, and I have a name. <laughs> Kiryu? <laughs> You're right. Dumb is absolutely beautiful and spectacular today. No, my, Thank you. I love what you've done. I'm really hard. I love what you've done with your bones. Did you get a new bone polish? <laughs> A nice deep bone scrubber. <laughs> On its own would sound like the weirdest thing so far. I like what you've done with your bones. You get some like hydrogen peroxide bath today, you're, you're practically gleaming, mate. It's beautiful. I put effort into my appearance. <laughs> Validate me. Did you get a new body scrub? <laughs> it, it was you, like, absolutely flaunting yourself, and I was just like, numb said enough, like, I'm gonna attack him. <laughs> yeah, 
It's like it's like watching it's, eating pasta. it's like watching lions run and then you see the one lion seeing the one antelope that's staggering off. We go after that antelope. No offense, no but... go for the weak. Yes. <laughs> and of course what would pasta be without some freshly grated parmesan? We need more parmesan. All the parmesan just throw the whole thing in. See, I thought you were gonna be like, yeah, here are the lions hunting. Here's one lion left alone. Us, the angry honey badgers, are going to strike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> but who is the leader of the honey badger pack? Are we a pack? The head honey badger. Duh. The angriest one. Yeah. How does one quantify that? Well, let's put it this way: Who has a modulator that they currently use when they're angry in video games? Well, I just scream like a normal person. Yeah, but it makes it sound cool because it makes me sound demonic and evil. Which I'm not because saying. Because you're actually not. Yes. I'm a sweetie. I'm, I make the same string of noises as, um, like, scruffing a kitten when I'm mad. Um, context for those of us who don't know what scruffing a kitten means. You grab the, you know where the scruff of the neck is? Yes. They've got extra skin there. Scruffing a kitten is where you grab them to pick them up. You oh. should never do it with adult cats because they're not made to do that. They sort of lose that as they grow older. Yeah. But with kittens, you'd scruff a kitten to get it away from a dangerous situation, if it's misbehaving, it's... or if you just need to move it from point A to point B. It's only what you see mama cats doing. Ah, yeah. yes. It's what I just well, pick them up by no, the no, back. No, 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 not just mama. It's Papa? any cat that is taking a parental role in the kitten's life. It's... Funnily enough, Tim, that's sort of what uh, I'm trying to get angle fur bogs as. You know how I explain the communities that everyone partakes in the child rearing? Yes. <laughs> it would be quite common to see an adult fur bog scruff a small fur bog and be like, no. That's nope, it. You go to the naughty corner. We have We're a... teaching your manners. <laughs> that's the idea. Is that how they talk? That's, no, that's how Swamp talks. You can have the rest talk completely normally if you want, but Swamp is going to be talking like this for most of the campaign. Oh fucking hell! Uh, pressure hey, the enemy. That's how. That's how I spoke about. Uh, that's how she spoke in the previous campaign she was in. It was great because dropping in and out of character it was very obvious for everyone when I was just beaming. Touche. We're gonna get this ability, which basically makes. I don't do. Sorry. Sorry. I genuinely thought you said you were gonna get disability. <laughs> I already am on disability. No, uh, this ability, which basically lets me, when I evade, I can immediately change fighting styles, so it doesn't cost me anything. Fair enough. This man is running into a pole and doesn't know how gra the universe works. Up oh, there I we go. Say, sure, I I say, surely, in, ter in terms of Yakuza, you're the one giving people disabilities and the amount of legs you cripple. Excuse me? <laughs> I'd like to state I don't disable, I don't kill people. Majima. Yeah, you don't kill people. You're like Batman. You just cripple them for life. Don't commit crime. <laughs> well, I've already made the joke saying that Kiryu is Batman because he's an orphan. He was take. He was an orphan. He was. He was. He he fights for justice, for people. And also, he's adopted some orphans. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how to tell you this, Kiryu, but you're Batman now. And it's beautiful. And sweep the leg. Pure leg. That, that needs to go on a red sauce for me. This one, sir, for a minute. Every time there's a joke about British people or bad cooking, they always at me because I'm the only British person and the only chef in that channel. Leave me alive. <laughs> I don't at you about bad British cooking because I watch Bake Off and it's all wonderful. Although, fuck Paul Hollywood. Fuck him. No, they just know I get very upset by tiny foods. No, Paul Hollywood pissed me off. I'm watching an episode, and like one of the women, the one, of, it's basically what you have to make, I don't remember how many dozen cookies, as well as an edible uh, biscuit box, right? And one of the contestants is using a cookie cutter. And he, he, he has this smarmy attitude going, don't you think that's a little cheeky to be using a, using a cookie cutter? I'm sitting here going, no, she's using her time wisely. Fuck you! Professionals use cookie cutters, why can't she? How the fuck does he expect people to get their cookies to look all the same? Exactly! I'm like, you are the guys who are expecting consistency and precision! Guess what she's doing? Well, it was one of those- Giving you that. Well, the, 
the other thing is like it was one of those stamped cookie cutters which has like a pattern stamped into it as you cookie cut and he's like what was the pattern it, it basically uh it was a frog pattern they were basically making frog cookies nice uh, her whole thing was based off of the phrase, Matt is a box of frogs. Understandable. So it was cute. And she's using a frog cookie stamp, and he's just like, Why are you being like this, dude? Even professional bake shops have cookie cutters. You think they all handcraft their own cookies? I don't know, just something about Paul Hollywood just gets a rise out of me. Like, I don't think he's always like that. From what I remember. Yeah, like he was very helpful but, when it comes to bread week. Oh, Hollywood does like in his bread. Oh God, he was a son, baker's son. Of course, he loves his bread. Um, how many people have? Uh, what do you think of the Mary Berry problem with well, baking? What's the Mary? What's the last one with anything? Which Mary Berry? Which Mary Berry problem? Soggy bottoms. <laughs> oh, I'm not supposed to giggle at that. No, you don't want a soggy bottom. Oh no, you don't want a soggy bottom, especially in like pies. Yeah, that basically. <laughs> Some of it is about very, very. Oh, like most, at least most people in my family is what taking me here, very, very. It's like ah, careful, soggy bottom. <gasps> Last thing we need. Oh, I'm at a bar. I thought this was a restaurant. All they have is booze. Well, it is a bar. Yeah, but... Oh, good, vodka. Ah, vodka. It has a stylish bottle design, as blue as the California sky. Should we... Should, should, should we tell the bartender that's not the color of the California sky? Should, should we break it to him? Nah. Okay. Your uni's processing to filtering it multiple times. There's their ability to process it multiple times to filter it and make it taste smooth. I sit here going, so basically they do the rock cut trick. You know, it's where you buy the bottom shelf vodka, you filter it a thousand times, put it in a nice bottle, and no one notices the difference all of a sudden. Like, no more alcohol. We don't drink vodka. I mean, we do drink vodka. We don't. Fuck. I mean, Fuck, that's why the water's taking so long to boil. I've got to boil the pissing kettle. <laughs> I'm smart. No, you're not. I mean, wait, yes, you are. <laughs> no, I'm really not right now. It's okay, it's okay. You're as smart as... I'm like, I know. <laughs> I'll save time when it comes to boiling the water. I'll boil the kettle and then put it on a hot hob. Brilliant. Did it work? <laughs> me. Also me, if it gets to boil the water. <laughs> Have you tried just not staring at it? Ugh. Watch pot never boils, my friend. That is horseshit. Physics says so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Physics says a lot of things that I question. Like? The earth is flat. <laughs> Physics does not say that. Yes, it does. Physics inherently works because of gravity on our planet, at least. But we don't actually have gravity. The Earth is flat, not round. Audience, I me atheists. I. Have... I mean, I'm not an atheist, so. Mm. I'm a. Ah! I literally do not give a shit about any of your religious statuses. Check me atheists. You can't see it, so I'm gonna tell you I'm dabbing. Fuck <laughs> sex, of course you are. Okay, someone get the dab emote out. All right, one more. I was about to say I don't have a dabbing emote. Yet. I do, because yet, I'm uh, Yet, I don't plan on getting one. Why not? Look at me. Do I look like a being of en an entity that would dab? Yes. You're a fucking coward. You're a... I thought that said t tacos, and I'm like, no, that's a tobacco cat. Not tacos. Why would there be tacos in Japan? S she says, walking... You're a coward. She says, while walking into a, basically, McDonald's. I could mix in some of the parmesan into the sauce. Yes, you could. I'm gonna. Don't forget to use some of the liquid within the pasta that you use for cooking the pasta. What? 
uh, the pasta water. It helps with sauce making. Does it? And that's what, that's what that 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 what TV tells me. That's a that's the first I've ever heard of that. So. Oh, crispy says yes. It really depends on what the consistency of my sauce is. Yeah. I'm fairly. Most, it, if I'm making mine quite thick, then I will yeah. definitely use the pasta water to bring it back. Mine's. I don't know how to describe the consistency of it. I'm not gonna lie. It's not thick. Thick. It's like. It exists. Are you having issues? Not... <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't know how to describe the consistency of my sauce. Okay, treat it like you were trying to make a trying to make a, anything else. Lift, put your spoon in it, pull it up, put it at a slight angle. How quick does it come off the spoon? Or run your finger over the sauce and see how quickly it fills the gap. Exactly that too. I mean, it plops right off the spoon. <laughs> This is where we both wish we were currently in Tim's house, messing with his pasta. No. Please don't mess with my pasta. I'm glad I'm out here, enjoying my plum chicken. Look at you with a plum chicken. Yeah. I didn't even know chickens came in that color. I know, right? You're fucking sleeping, mate. I didn't know- No, oh, no, I'm no. wide awake. Yeah! Our third eye is open! Hobos live here! I need to find Uno on Tabletop Simulator that works. Uh, that's my current goal. Why? So okay. we can all play Uno together? No, because the game of choice that's been chosen for the immortal soul of one of the other players is in fact Uno. It's finally what? been settled on. What? So I, as a Archfey, need to play against a Warlock for the immortal soul of another player. In Uno! Is it the best old game, or is it just one game? Oh, one game of Uno. Whoever wins gets the soul. You know, back in my day, what happens with it? You know, back in my day, we just did a fiddle contest. <laughs> All right, there, simmer no. down, George. The, the warlock got their power by winning a card game against the Fae, and the Fae's like, "All right, we'll have another card game for the immortal soul of your friend." Jesus. Okay, now it's the timer. Ooh, this is good music. Set a timer for three minutes. Defeat the guy with the bat that co cop that come up. That dude, Brod. Yep. Dead by daylight, Uno. I have many questions. Prodigious. God, the last time I heard someone say Prodigi oh. Prodigious was in the dub of freaking Digimon. Yep. God, Prodigious. Is it- did you know that that voice actress died? Aww. I was sad. I mean, the worst example of it I remember is um, him following up with the most obvious line of dialogue here. <gasps> prodigious! A virus on the internet! <laughs> I mean, what else would be on the internet? On. Where the virus Sorry. is usually hanging out. Yeah, fair enough. Image of the snake. I forgot to get... Do I have the snake? I think I have the snake. Do I have to keep hobo fighting? Do you have a snack? No, but I have a dabbing emote. And by I, I mean Morgan has a... Morgan has a dabbing emote. I do not have the image of a snake. I'm a snake. What kind of snake is that? A snakey snake. Uh-huh. I'll be honest with you, Chief, I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm about to say, you going for a very effeminate snake here? Are, 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 are we doing Panto? Uh -huh. Uh, no, nothing problem with that. I was gonna say, are we doing Panto? I don't know. I'm, I missed on the chance to go to a Panto this year. Well, Plague was still a thing. No, then it was on. I just oh. missed my chance to go to it. Oh. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, yes, Oh, it. fuck off. 
Listen, Peter Pan gone wrong is funny to me. It it's fucking great. To me, it's still the audio miscues with the cab. It's just ah, here we are. How still the night air is. Hank, beep, Hank. Beep. Why is that a cab? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, and the three calves is one for you, one for darling, one for my hat. One for my hat. <laughs> okay, I need to get 600 points to get the image of a snake. I don't know why well, I can't just... Pizza! Sorry. Sorry. No, your line is more Peter. important. Peter then proceeds to eat Tinkerbell. <laughs> just the guy having to literally read off the script. Fun fact, I related to that scene so much because here's a fun factoid about me. Uh, my mom is a theater person. My mom does is the stage manager of our local community theater. Mm -hmm. So whenever someone would get sick, she was usually the one holding the script, standing there, full on, <laughs> full blacks and everything, reading out the lines. <laughs> and one time she was like, I have to work backstage and train all the new people. She throws the script at me, puts me on stage, going, do the thing! What? Just read the lines. Okay. <laughs> and did you accidentally monotone your way through it? Thankfully, no. Incorrect inflections all over the shop. I was... I did do some funny inflections, but still. That's not how the scene goes. I'm not acting in this. I'm just reading the lines, sir. That's not how it should sound. Do I look like I give a fuck? Are you sure it's a smart idea for the small child to be playing a full-on adult male role? Yes, it's funny. <laughs> no, I wasn't, like, small. I think Next I was, question. I think I was a teenager, so it wasn't perfectly fine. They're swearing in it. Mom goes, swear, honey. Fuck! <laughs> it's the same vibe as that fucking, okay, I need you to swear. Fuck! fuck. As in promise. Swear as in promise. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> We're just, we're just, we're not allowed to swear here. Well, damn. Ah, oh, shit, I said, ah, oh, fuck. Fuck shit, hell damn, mother. Oh, fuck, I said shit. Oh, shit, I said fuck. That man's wearing combat boots. Kill him. What, what? Your winning personality. My winning personality ain't gonna get a squat in a hobo battle. I don't know, if you charm him enough. Do I look like the bard? Listen, I've already figured out Kiryu and Majima's stats when it comes to freaking if they were D&D &D characters. Both of them have monk are monk fighters. You reckon? Oh yeah. Dude, have you not seen them do fury of blows on each other? I regret saying that sentence right now. Also, now that you've brought up fucking Peter Pan going wrong, I really want to watch it again now. Same. The sexy shadow. <laughs> this isn't a panto. Yeah. Oh, yes, it is. No, it is. It is. No, it is. You're ruining Christmas. I don't know. It's sad because here. In the... getting... Sorry. No, I'm gonna say it's sad because you can't get the show here in the states. Can you? Nope. Shame. I have to use either a VPN or know somebody who knows somebody. If you catch my drift. I know a guy. <laughs> hey, listen, bud. Come over here. I know a guy. I don't know what the fuck this accent is. I'm not gonna lie with you, cheek. It's supposed to be Gangster of New York? I don't fucking know. Anyway, you fuck my wife? No. Hey, Morgan, you fuck my wife? Hey, Numb, you fuck his wife? Numb, you fuck my wife? Well, that settles it. It was those two. They fucked my wife. I'm getting my ass kicked. I'm trying to you know find who? a way to rig Uno. There is a way to- You can't rig Uno! Rig the deck. To be what? If all... it's a one-on-one -on -one match, just rig it with all fucking wild cards and 
skips. And draw no, fours. What I mean is that the player still has the ability to try and do sleight of hand rolls and stuff, so I need oh. to... Oh, so you basically can uh, either side cheat. Yes, right. Yeah. Ow. Both sides can cheat. <sighs> what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to have the main deck that we're playing off, and then there's going to be a side deck which is going to be split into all of the individual cards. So you've got your red, your blues, your different colours. Then you're going to have all the special cards in one pile, and you can sleight of hand to take an additional card, which means, yes, that means there are two decks in play. Both both people at the table are going to be very aware of this because they're both using it to cheat because they're assholes. So it's basically, you cheated, so did you. I just cheated better than you did. That's essentially it, yes. <laughs> Why don't you just play Liar's Dice? It's easier. There's got to be a card game. <laughs> no, I actually stayed in any game. And I was oh. desperately trying to push for Hungry Hungry Hippos. <laughs> you just made me stop mid-game. And I'm now panning at the camera to stare at you! Good. I was trying, to get, I was trying to get him to fight for the immortal soul of another player character via Hungry Hungry Hippos. To me that gives the same vibe as For Calculon's immortal soul, guess the number I'm thinking of! <laughs> For Calculon's immortal soul, we must play Pick Up Sticks! So it's just, uh, it's between one and three. Uh, Two. between one and three, not necessarily including one and three. Is it M? <laughs> yes, it's M. Yes, the number I was thinking of was the letter M. <laughs> That's what happens when you are dealing with someone with a negative in intelligence. <laughs> Am I wrong? Oh. I'd like to point I'm out I'm gonna be very quiet for a while because I'm gonna be eating and no one wants to hear me eating not unless this was an ASMR eating stream but it is not I want everyone to enjoy it is not <laughs> I, I was gonna say everyone please enjoy the um, the aesthetic of this room Corinthian Corinthian we have some Corinthian things checkerboard marbles unneeded water and lights Fish that don't, fish tank with no fish. A fat man in the middle of a desk. I, I just gotta find something to watch while I eat. Why don't you watch my stream? Because I'm in the kitchen. You don't have you don't have the ch chip that lets you watch streams all the time in your head. No. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> I'm sorry, this, 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 not only hobo fights and strippers and prostitutes, there's underground gambling. Of course. All in favor of underground gambling, please say aye. B. No. You don't want to underground gamble? No. Okay. I'd rather gamble above ground. Someone just went Oni-chan! Someone just went Oni-chan in my ear! Oni-chan? Please ara, let me... Ara. Listen, I can do Ara-Ara. We have a thing to cash in Ara-Ara points. I'm sitting here going, what, what, what? Yeah, I'm gonna watch that while I eat. These women look so sad. Could you be a little bit more enticing? Come on, come on. Smile, smile in the eyes. Stop looking so dead in the face. Who animated you? <laughs> Majima in drag is more expressive than you guys. I sound so mean to these women. I am so sorry. Nah, um, told me to. Told me I need to stretch. Yes. Damn you, numb. Yes. Did you just go yeast? Do you want to go underground gambling? No, good. We have to go back to the Serena. Which is this club slash bar. 
which has Kiryu's not girlfriend. Because Kiryu's girl. I've already hydrated! Ugh, fine. I'm hydrating. Okay. Don't do anything stupid. No promises. Also, there's a weapon in this game called a Master Ball. No, it doesn't do that. What's the fucking point? I know, I'm saying you're going Master Ball? I could capture Kipajima in a ball? And keep him as my eternal pet? Internal pet. Internal pet. See you, Majima. Hi, sweetie. Hi. I love you. Okay, I do have a problem. I have a small problem. <sighs> Don't ask about the clown. I wasn't gonna ask about the clown. <laughs> There's dragon mail equip equipment. Dragon mail. There's a dead bum on my f carpet. It sounds like something that you should probably address and fix. That there's a dead bum on my carpet? Yeah. Aw, Date's been drinking. Quick, get a cup of coffee. Put whiskey in it. Damn, he drank a whole bottle of whiskey! Oh, that's cute. Why is that cute? Who's Saya? Yes. Kiryu just looked like, who's Saya? Is he cheating on me? <gasps> is it cheating if he doesn't even know who you are? <gasps> oh, it's his daughter. Oh. Okay, so Date, the drunk guy, was supposed to meet his daughter, and he's the dumbass who didn't come and see her. Hi, little child! When did we- I, I keep forgetting we adopted a small child. I mean, the dog is more important than the small child in my personal opinion, but that's just my opinion. That's fair. Thank you. It's a Shiba too, so it's cute. I mean, all of them are cute, but you know what I mean. High schoolers! I'm sorry, high school girls, this man is in his 30s, he's not interested. Vision. What? Good. See? 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 Hold on. Uh, uh, 
Kiryu has taste. He does not flirt with young women. So high school girls are prostituting themselves to get money, and Kiryu just said I'm not the one who's pro who's basically putting my body on discount. Woo! Kiryu. And Saya got involved. Oh my god. Girls, this is why you shouldn't fall with men who basically want your money. This is your life lesson for the day. This is Kat's life lesson for the day. I don't know how to feel about this right now. Hot tip for you, just don't, don't feel. No problem. I feel nothing. Give up on emotions. Give up on emotion. Become clam. Reject humanity. Become clam. Close my stream, you put me back in. They're good for it, they're good for it, stream. Did you get back in? Hold on. Yes. Hello, C. I'm ready to crusade. Wait, where did you get the flaming sword? <laughs> That's why I left, I tricked you. Ah, hello Candy Sea Pig, how are you? Oh, did you finish the game last night? I think I might have fell asleep during it. And was the ending as bullshit as you thought it was going to be? Okay, I need to go to the Champion District and go to Shellac and beat the crap out of a guy. And this all takes place before Christmas, everyone! In game. Night before Christmas. I didn't say the night before Christmas. The night before Christmas. Ooh, through the house. Not a creature. I've run out of wood, and I can't build my house. <laughs> I'm sorry? I'm homeless, and you're laughing. Oh yeah, I got sleep. Yep. Yeah. When you said that, I sat here going, I can't tell them. I can't tell you. Uh, they were playing a Nancy Drew game and I already knew who was doing it because I played that one before. And I was sitting here going, must not react when they finally figure it out. Yeah, it, it, it gets pretty... Why is this reversed? Uh, yeah. No more Nancy Drew to back. <laughs> what did you learn? Did you learn anything? That doesn't concern you. Okay, so I'll, yeah, I'm a friend. Pick which drink is the most expensive here. What do you mean? I have to pick a drink, and which one's the most expensive one? Yeah. Yakuza. Kiwami. Most expensive drink. I am not cheating.
That's not on the list. Make me have to freaking go through the freaking. I'm not looking up a guide. She lied through her teeth. Ugh. Run out of wood again. Quit running out of wood. Trying not to. The final answer is the the Bowmore, but the Bowmore isn't an op is not an option on the list. <laughs> Candy Sea Pig, I learned Sea Pigs get mad at Nancy when you have to deal with her rude ass too long. Yeah, yeah. I would get mad at that teacher. Okay, we're gonna go by stupidity here and go, the drink that's really, really old is the most expensive. That makes sense, right? No. Going to a place called Stardust, and he's going to be the number one host. Damn, Sea Pig! Are you okay? Did you get any sleep? 18 hour stream! <sighs> she was the girl who went. <sighs> okay, we gotta go to the Stardust, and we gotta find a hooker. I mean, what? Casual Friday night. Casual Friday. Okay, we're going to take a taxi because we have the money. understand why they have to make the controller vibrate when the car starts in the game. Let's see, let's get going. Okay, we're at the Stardust Hotel. Hotel. Is that a hotel, cat? Why not? It's a club where women who are lonely meet men who look like they belong in Final Fantasy games and not the Gladio looking ones. Shoda. Shoda. The only Shoda I care about is Shoda Aizawa. I have. I have horrible taste in men. I've established this, right? He's wearing a pearl necklace. <laughs> Girl, you fell in love with a host. Ooh, soap opera. Get the popcorn, everyone. Or in this case, the jam. My body is ready. <laughs> I come back and the first thing I hear is my body is ready. What the fuck? We're having soap opera yes. fun. You're having what now? Soap opera. Okay. So, 
Date, who is this cop that we are, who's working for us to get information about who killed our girlfriend, or uh, allegedly killed our girlfriend, that we got falsely accused for, he has a daughter who's basically in love with a host, and she is currently selling off her body to make money so she can spend time with this host, because she is madly in love with him, and she's stupid for doing that. Just saying. Right. Just smile and wave, boys. And now, Kiryu, out of the kindness of his heart, is stepping in to help... And now gangsters are trying to attack her. Because she wants attention from a cute guy. Listen, girl, girl. She's like those people who spend all their money on us on v on a on Twitch streamers because they really really like them and not pay attention to how much things cost. I wish I was rich enough to do that. I wish I had I was rich enough to do that and support my friends. I choose to support my friends by just being here. Yeah. Well, you're doing very. enough money. I would literally just go up to random artists on Twitter that were like, Look, I'm struggling to buy this. I'm like, yes, I'll purchase one commission. Here's a tip of mysteriously the exact amount of money you need. Yes. I need to buy a new air I need to buy a new oven and it costs me five thousand dollars. Huh? Mate, what? I'm kidding! I could how much do ovens cost? I have to have a fucking oven for you. Listen, my brain broke, okay? I meant to say five hundred, but my brain wanted to add an extra zero. Oh, Kiryu with the save! Kiryu! Respecter of women! Protector of women! The truest of himbos! I mean, he does- He's just not that bright. What? Is he not that bright, then? Yeah, there are moments. Oh, Yakuza Zero, he was the ultimate himbo. He fell for a Ponzi scheme! What is a Ponzi scheme? Uh, well, in this case, it was an MLM, but an MLM and a Ponzi scheme are, like, very similar. Okay, fun fact, that still doesn't make things any clearer to me. A massive scam that takes all your money. Okay. That help? I'm going to be disappearing because I'm going to be talking to someone about uh, restructuring a magic deck. That's fun. Nerd. I will. Yes, yes, I am. Catch his latest. See ya. Catch you later. Yeah, I was about to say, any artist would love if you did that, by the way, Morgan. Morgan. Yeah. Why do I keep adding an eye? Yeah. That's it. No more Street Fighter for me. Anyway. No, but, uh, seriously, though, art. This is why I love, like, furry art. People who want to furries and D and D players who want to commission me. You want to know why? They tip, and I love them for it. Thank you for tipping me. Be fair, if someone's throwing me art, like if I have the extra cash, I'm almost certainly throwing a tip on there. Yeah. Or if I know I'm asking for something cool, but there's a tip in there. Which, funnily enough, what I commission is D and D. <laughs> See, you're a good bean. So I'm just like, alright, I need chainmail and I need like this very particular design pattern to it. And they're like, yeah, sure. Don't even charge me anything extra. And then I'm just like, no, dude, this detail had to have taken you ages. You're getting money. Nordic detailing, all I'm saying, pain in the ass. I'm being the crap out of men. Who's still alive? Oh, him. The cop has been fighting this one guy all by himself. <laughs> oh, bye, King Crispy. <laughs> but you can also- No, no, Cat, stop that sentence you were about to say right now. Smack, smack. Mm -hmm. Smacking. Nope, saying nothing. I am a good girl. Say it. Nope. Say it, slut. No! <laughs> say it! I was gonna say, but you can also call me daddy! <laughs> <laughs> I 
Is that horrible? Is that horrible? Yes. Oh, it's it's beautiful. It's perfect. So, hello, host. Oh, he's involved in weird shit. Really weird shit. Kinky shit. Fifty Shades of Grey level of kinky. It isn't that kinky. But mostly wrong. This guy looks like he belongs in some weird boy band, and then I remember this is 2005. Japan, so yes, he does. It, most people yeah. not belong in a band in 2005 Japan. Yeah. Because my brain, it's like that one time I was playing Final Fantasy and I was changing the outfits of the characters in Final Fantasy 15. And I said out loud, you all dress like Final Fantasy characters. Again, I'm playing Final Fantasy 15 when I'm saying this. Okay, where am I going? Where am I going? Who am I going? What am I going? When am I going? If I run really fast in a circle, will I will I break the time barrier? You left your dad out in the middle of the woods? I don't know where I was going with that, but I went with it. Where is the door to this building? You have missed nothing except for me not knowing how to get out of a door. Why? So, wait, he's paying off the loan truck and you're helping him because you think he's hot. Wow, girls will do anything for hotness. It's the simp. The simp is strong with you, young lady. Get me involved in this, you're the simp. Hold on! I'm sorry, if I'm simping for Majima enough, I'm not gonna help pay for his debts. I'm like, dude, that's your responsibility, ain't mine. Take care of your own damn self, Majima. You're the one who invested in all the weird things. <laughs> so we're gonna have to beat the crap out of people. Okay. This is gonna be so fun to explain to Kor next week when he's like, So what did we do in the story? Okay, back up. We have a lot of shit to explain. Oh, oh. Oh god, it's an escort mission! <laughs> I hate escort missions. punks really not now I'm busy escorting a girl what do you need to escort the girl for we have to take her to a we're going to the loan office because if we go to the loan office then we can remove the debt you know bring the girl and erase the debt you know like that one Bioshock game 
never played a Bioshock game. You've never even watched a movie. No, I legitimately have never played a Bioshock game. Oh, okay. They're good if you know, if you like first-person shooters. It has a really good plot and all that jazz, but you know. I wish I could be able to kick people while they're on the floor. Just like a little kicky action. Why are the lights on Hagisawa? Okay, where am I supposed to go? Hold on, where the hell am I supposed to go? There we go, found the building. Oh, it would be nice if these giant buildings had big old... Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm getting sleepy, damn it. Wake up, cat. Ow! Wait, how does 200 go to 4 million? 200k go to 4 million. How? Listen, I don't want to insult this man's fashion sense, but he looks like he's wearing grandma's necklace and I can't take him seriously. You know what I mean? Yes. He's like, full business suit, grandma necklace. He just said, Daddy. Ooh, it vibrates when you get bitch smacked. Pinky. Kiryu to just basically adopt her? Wait, we don't need any more orphans. <laughs> Dramatic entrance. <laughs> Kiryu is about to kill people. I mean, not kill people. We don't kill people. We just hurt them a lot. Remember that, everyone. We don't murder! That tells me that's a lie. DDT!
Dad just shanked my ass! I don't like him. What about the fact that you're fighting? I don't think he liked you either. Does anyone like each other in this game? Yes. And headbutt! Ooh! Ooh! Step on him! Not like that! And he's dead! Yay! People. I mean, not murdered people. This POV is the POV of getting your ass kicked. Okay. Be ass handed to you, 2K20. I was gonna say 2K20. No. Times progressed and changed. No. Technically this game was set in 2005, if that helps you. Which means you can do as many Shrek jokes as you want. What are you doing in my swamp? <laughs> Thank you. So I had to do that as much sound as I could. Sh should we just summon Stacy and ask Stacy to say that line? <laughs> We're Scottish. I I need you to know how uncontrollably gay I am every time I hear her talk like that. And I'm, it the hurts. Fact that that's, the fact that that's now her normal stream talking voice is like, no! Nah. It hurts! It hurts! Doesn't it? I can't talk to you like an old person anymore. I'm too gay. It's okay. It's okay. No. Imagine it's Gilbert Gottfried. Imagine it's Gilbert Gottfried. That doesn't help at all. <laughs> If he sounded like that, I'd be attracted to him too. But what if Stacy sounded like Gilbert Gottfried? I'd be very scared. <laughs> Aww, tender fodder daughter moment. What's that like? I've never had one of those moments. What's a dad? Exactly. What is a faja? What is a papa? I know what a daddy is, and I don't want one of those. I mean. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, but you're thirsty. I'm not always thirsty. No, you are. Why are they? I'm innocent some days. Today is no. just not one of them. Uh. <laughs> All right, plot. Pay attention, everyone. Take notes. Wait a second. No, that can't be him. It can't be from Yaku. You can't be the guy from Zero who used to pat us down for weapons. No. Now he's chief of police? No. They can't be the same guy. Maybe I'm crazy. They can't be the same person, can they? They look similar. Sudoku? Oh, Sudoku. Oops.
Ten you eat a motherfucking looking ass. Not really. <laughs> we have achieved the achievement sins of the father. Good for us. More cutscene. We can just put the controller down. Now it's time for the story. No, this is plot involving what happened while Kiryu was in jail. Because Kiryu's girlfriend got stabbed as well as this other very high-ranking member of the Yakuza. And basically he got pinned that Kiryu was the one who did it. He didn't do it. He didn't do it. He's innocent. And his girlfriend survived, and this is how she survived, because basically a lot of- Ah, it's Pufferfish Man! Pufferfish Man, go away! I don't like Pufferfish Man. You still look like a Pufferfish. What? Sir, you are making me suffer by looking at me. Not to be rude or anything, but oh my god. All that he wants is another baby. Eh. I don't know where I was going with this, but that's what my brain thought. Yeah, I don't know where you were going either. Well, he goes all that he wants, and I'm sitting here going, Is another baby. Eh. You know what else would get you up to the ranks? Money. And money, money, money. Always funny. <laughs> In a rich, rich man's, man's world. world. <laughs> Welcome to ABBA. <laughs> ABBA fucking slaps, and anyone who says differently doesn't understand what a song slapping means. It's like that one weird, that one post on Tumblr where a girl, where someone was like, my mom was talking about the new ABBA movie, the new Mamma Mia coming up, and the father was like, I don't want to hear the second string of ABBA's great ABBA's hits, and then the mom's like, ABBA doesn't have a second string. It's all number ones. You know what I mean? Yeah, ABBA, ABBA had a way of just absolutely slapping it out of the park every single fucking time. My question is though. How's the new album? Because the new album's supposed to come out this year, next year, a year. Is there? Yeah! It was like one of the weird things that happened in 2021 where ABBA announced that they're coming out with a new album and everyone's like, okay, who had ABBA reunion on their bingo card? <laughs> I don't think anyone did. I didn't even consider it. Hey, look. Look at this titty. It's a classy titty. Don't worry. What? You miss Titty. Oh, Titty's back. It's not showing anything, it's just showing off the tattoo. Which, to be perfectly honest, that tattoo being exposed like that, you know, being easily out in the open like that, in Japan, pretty risky, just saying. Well, you're not allowed into certain places if you've got tattoos, because they're very much against it, the culture, aren't they? Yeah, well, people like to say it's because of, uh... People like to say it's because of Yakuza and the association with Yakuza, but actually there's a deeper reason, which is massively racist! Shocker, I know. Racist against these native Japanese people who like to tattoo themselves and, you know, treating them like second class citizens. It's, it's, there's like 20 levels of crazy, and why did I go down that rabbit hole at 1 a.m. again? I don't know. Good news the child is safe. But more important news how's the puppy? 
but yeah, it's it's kind of sad. Japan's getting more and more lenient. Hell, there is a website dedicated to uh, hot springs that allow tattooed people, which is great because, which is great because you know foreign people want to go to the Japanese hot springs. Mm. I think personally, I'm glad that there are hot springs that do it, and my brain thinks, oh, they're doing it because they know there's potential money in this, which I have nothing against as long as the quality is good. Da, 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 da. I'm running around in I'm running around in circles. Okay, plot. More plot! Oh, wait, hold on. Let's upgrade our abilities. Then plot! Let us become stronger than yesterday. We must boost our attack damage. And then let's see. Oof. Okay. And now we run around in circles. We. Okay. Let's go to where is the nearest drugstore? I need a drugstore. Okay, so we gotta go that way and up. Gotcha. I know the streets of, J of Kamarocho like the back of my hand. She says getting lost in Kamarocho. Kiryu, why do you sound asthmatic? Would you like anything? Yes, all your drugs. I would like one of every drug, please. Thank you for the drugs. Do you think it's weird that I'm saying thank you for the drugs when I am buying drugs? But they're legal drugs, so it's perfectly fine. Right? I do not know. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Let's go for some Tosuko ramen. Because who doesn't love ramen? Evil people, that's who don't like ramen. I won't say that's been on the highest list of things that I can remember eating. Aren't they just noodles? Yes. Well, there's more to the noodle, but, you know, a good percentage of it is nude. Nude! It's noodles, broth, some, like, sometimes there's meaty bits in it, sometimes there's egg, seaweed. This all depends on what type you order, but ramen is delicious. And if none was here, he, if none was here, he would start praising the ramen shop that's near him. That I'm insanely jealous that he can go to anytime he wishes. Glare. Na 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 na. Don't question why the ramen served in a back alley. Just accept that the ramen is here. such happy sounds when eating ramen. I mean, it's happy sounds, but you know, it's happy sounds. Ooh, gambling! No. We're good humans. We don't gamble. A sword that can summon temp 
can summon freaking tornadoes. That that sounds nice. chapter am I on in game? I legitimately do not remember. Chapter 7. Gotcha. Chapter 8 is when uh, more uh, Majima stuff happens, allegedly. Listen, a tattoo is personal and permanent commitment, not something you should get because it's trendy. <laughs> I'll carry you. Carry you, you sweet innocent. I mean, I understand Japanese mindsets, but oh, you sweet innocent bean. Carry you, you sweet innocent goldfish. Now I want goldfish. <gasps> there are kitties! Goldfish are good. Kitties. <gasps> Oh, they're so cute. They actually look like my cat Toshi. I don't know how to feel about my cat Toshi being in this video game right now. Toshi, what are you doing in this video game? Toshi? I find it weird hearing you say Toshi because that's my friend's online name. <laughs> that is technically one of the two names of my cat. Is you have one asshole. No, the other one is Vincent. Mom calls him Vincent. I call him Toshi because he looks like Toshinori Yagi from My Hero Academia. He's blo he's he's light hair colored, tall and skinny, and mostly leg. And every photo I have of Toshi, it looks like his eyes are nothing but black voids. So it's just like, okay, he's Toshi now. Actually, fun factoid. This emote is based on him. It's very cute. It's adorable. It has beans. Who doesn't love beans? <laughs> Sir. Oh, he's the tattoo guy. <laughs> oh, we don't get a tattooing scene? Darn. Okay. There's a lurk command, by the way, Sea Pig. What does the lurk command do? It has a cute little adorable message. <laughs> Sir, why are you barefoot in a tattoo shop? That has to be freaking dirty. What's with the camera? Tattooing cutscene? Why am I excited about that? You've watched people- Oh! It's the old school way too! Oh! Oh! Okay, 
I'm not taking screen grabs, I swear. Of course not. I need it for art references! Uh-huh. I'm sorry, Kiryu, how can you look so calm getting poked in the back? Constantly. Sorry, I'm just imagining the pain right now. My face is squinting. I'm not weird. Hold on. It was early morning when you got tattooed. Now it's evening. How long does it take for a... Why am I saying this? Cat, you've watched tattoo. You, you watched Ink Masters. wanted to know what it feels like to have a motorcycle thrown into your sternum? Yes. Really? I, 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 I mean, idle curiosity. Oh, of course. Who doesn't have idle curiosity about massive pain? I don't know how to feel about that. And he's doing it with a needle, not a needle gun, so it will take ages. Okay, valid point, everyone. the idea of getting that done it's just like ah maybe it's because i have a really crappy pain tolerance can we all agree i have a crappy pain tolerance you want to i have a crappy pain tolerance Let's let the small, tiny child go hang out with the homeless folk. Good, those. Oh, good. The small, tiny child's okay with this. This little girl is a lot smarter than she comes off. And I am impressed. Good child. smack but still I thought that gift sometimes was just sometimes you just have to hit a child I legit thought that gift when I used to see the gif of the little girl getting smacked by him I thought that was like someone made it in like SFM or something no that's that's legit 
That's legit. That's 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 legit. We've learned something today, kids. Haruka! You are a little child, you should not be running around on the streets. Ugh. Okay, we'll go find Haruka. Poochie, help us! Poochie's not helping us. Poochie, you suck at this. All the dog does is go woof woof. Okay, if I was a small lost child, where would I be? Morgan, what would you do if you were a small lost child lost in the middle of a city? Fight capitalism. Steal from every shop nearby. Okay! Instead of thinking logically, we're gonna just think illogically, right? What? I don't know. No, I'm an orphan now. Not a. I mean, technically, yes, you are an orphan, but still. Murder! 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 that right now, Crispy, although I'd like to think that she took it like a champ either way. Because people were like, did Kira just tap her or did she, like, did she just take on a full heart smack? The Game Center. See, this child is a little bit more logical. No. Okay, fine. It's time to fight capitalism. At an arcade? Yeah. How? Eat people. So, small, tiny child, as you can hear from your... What's the gender-neutral term for aunt and, uh, aunt and or uncle? Yes. Uncle Morgan. <laughs> Eat people. Fight capitalism by eating people. Eat the rich. But don't eat the people working there because for the love of god they are sure as heck not rich. Oh no, the uh, people working there don't don't do that to them. Don't do that to them. Just eat the really snobby people. Small tiny child. There is a suspicious guy who looked super drunk dragging a little girl away. Hold on! I recognize it. Uh, wait. Is Devil May Cry owned by Capcom? Or Sega? Because that guy looks like he's... Uh, I believe so. I know he's owned by Capcom, but he's not... Is he... Is Because I notice a Nero-looking motherfucker in there. Shinfuku Street parking lot? Then why did you girls do something if you thought she was in danger? You have cell phones. Call the cops. I don't know why I'm yelling at a bunch of fictional people, but I'm yelling at a bunch of fictional people. Okay, Shinfuku Street. This way. We have to save the small child. I don't know why we have to save the small child, but we have to save the small child. Run. Run. We are Sonic. Now for a tiny kid, she went a very long distance.
Tiny child! Who cares? Shiny thing on floor! Okay. Threaten him. Have you seen a little girl? She's about this tall with black hair and a blue dress. We're in Silent Hill now. Ew. A park? Do you know how many parks there are in this universe? I think I know which park. We must think logically. Hobos! Hobo logic! Global logic not working. This is disgusting. What? That hobo logic isn't working? Yeah. Damn it! Oh, oh, sorry, doggy. I'm so sorry. Okay, it's not here. Fuck. Think. Think. Okay, if they're not at the hobo park, where would they be? That there is a hobo park is quite upsetting. It's a park where the hobos live. And underneath it is the red light district. Don't think too deeply about that. It makes you feel better in future games. This park is completely gone. It's replaced with housing. Gentrification. Yeah, gentrification. Yay. Hobos, I need your help. Have you seen a little girl? She's about this tall in a white parka. There's a children's park over here. If they weren't in the hobo park, let's check the children's park. Because that's the only logical place it would work, right? Children's Park! Okay. Let's check the bathrooms. Ew, that's gross. 
That's even more gross. Oh, good. We've traveled by taxi 15 times. Yay. Okay, hobos, you better be having her. Hold the tiny child. Don't hold the tiny child. Give me the child. The child returned. This is the police. Whoop, whoop. Hold on, I'm now legitimately looking up a walkthrough because I'm completely lost. Oh, park three, okay. Park 3 is somewhere. So how are you doing, Morgan? Doing good. Uh, decided to pick up dead souls again. Dead cells, sorry. How is it? Right, I remembered why I stopped playing, because I'm awful at it. It's okay. Remember the good times. Yes, like when I wasn't playing it. Yes, remember those times. the fuck? What is with classy men in suits going, we have prepared for this. Come, join us. Just give me the girl and let's go home. There better be an explanation that is very easy to understand that is in bite-sized chunks around the size of beef jerky. And now I want beef jerky. Are we about to fight, fight people in a dance club? Who the fuck are you? No! How did you get a gun in Japan? I'm not questioning this right now. You mean this pendant? Look at this photograph! This little girl is gonna go through so much therapy because of all the trauma she's going through right now. We all agree to this, right? Yes. Okay.
Yeet! You're gonna yeet the pendant up? What is this Matrix bullshit? Oh no! Wait, how did a straight bullet hit her arm if that was a- Don't think about it, cat. Drama. Okay. You girls go to the hospital. I will fight all these men in black. And stab them. With bullets. Don't ask where I got the bullets. <sighs> hey Morgan, want to want to see ridiculous? Yes. Give me one second to line it all up. Thing is, I don't know how far behind I am than you. I got shot in the kidneys. God damn it! Not the kidneys. I need those to live. <laughs> All hail the Marlin Cannon. God damn it. The Marlin Cannon used to work real great against people who didn't have fucking guns. That's it. We're fighting the Yulu guys the old fashioned way. Guns. I hate guns when I don't have guns. I mean, it's understandable to hate guns when you're at a severe disadvantage. Me not likey them. There, now it's just one on one. Mano e mano. The power of God anime and this gun I found. Any more guns? Any more guns? I need more guns. Stop! J 
jumping on me like I'm your lover. Yeet! I don't know why I just randomly yelled yeet, but I randomly yelled yeet. Took us a while, but we defeated him. Yay! Did you enjoy the Marlin cannon? I did. It was beautiful. I wish I could use it better, but when you're going against a bunch of people with guns, it might not be the best idea. I should not enjoy this image as much as I do. Dun dun dun! You guys haven't gone to the hospital yet? Graced or not? Go to the hospital. Hospitale. Hospitale. You're not gonna listen to you? I mean, I'm playing the game. I control. Kiryu. I'm sorry for bitch smacking you. You are an orphan now, and as an orphan, I shall adopt you and become Batman. Pretty sure that's not how that works. <laughs> He's already Batman. She is now Robin. <laughs> okay. What? Is that not how it works? Is that not how superheroes are made? And sidekicks? Orphans? No. Husband? Not husband! Oh. Y'all were all in the closet together? Why has no one taken her to the hospital? I know it was a graze, and it wasn't that deep. But we need to clean the wound! Someone give me some antiseptic! Or at least give her a clean jacket! Is this the only- th am I the only one who's freaked out by this? Yes. Yeah. Well, at least she's not licking the blood wound. Ah oh, yes! The red light district! Perfectly safe for small tiny children! Yeah, let the prostitutes teach the girl fun tricks. Like card games. Motorcycles? Yes, card games with motorcycles. Teach you how to juggle. That sounds fun. On motorcycles. Yeah? That's on fire. Yeah, that's exactly how kids should learn to <laughs> learn how to juggle on motorcycles with fire. Hmm. There's a chalk outline. Hello, Sudo Wudo.
10年前のあなたは私にとって目標だった。Why? 主な捜査、周到な計画、時計の執着心。Sorry. どれをとっても計画 There's something up there and it won't come out. I think it might be my brain. あなたの行動が理解できません。どうしたん What? The fact that you have a, ga a, a game? Yeah, you have a game inside your head. <laughs> My brain's also melting. <laughs> oh, what's that like? Want to trade? I would rather a working brain than a melting one. Card games and motorbikes. Yes, daycare boss. Hello, daycare boss, Alan. Puppy! Welcome back, brother. Are we not going to talk about the puppy? No. Am I the only one who's going to talk about the puppy? Yes. Because I'm waiting for the puppy to turn up on my screen. Oh, there it is! Isn't he adorable? Oh, that's a good boy. That's our bat hound. That's Ace the bat hound. Not everything really bad! <laughs> Listen! Until there is no longer a parallel between Batman and this game, I'm keeping it going! Choo choo! Thought they said it will only it was only a graze. I'll end up fine. I might get a cool scar out of it though, so I can scare all the other kids. I bet most kids don't go through shit like this. Oh. Yes, puppy is cute and sleepy boy, and we love him. Watching old man. Sorry, I was talking to myself. Okay. Yes, they're hiding as well, child, in the plywood's dead. Okay, so context. Little girl goes and points out her name's Haruka. Goes, I saw a toy store on the way here, but they wouldn't let me in. When does it open? Kiria goes, uh, that's an adult toy store. And then she goes, kids, what kind of toys do adults buy? The adults don't buy toys. He's like, uh... Uh, I mean, I don't, but some do. I'm just sitting here going, Go on, Kiryu. Try to explain this to the small, tiny child. <laughs> so, that's going to be hilarious for the audience to react to. Kiryu, what what now? Sir, sir, I'd love to go there, but I have a small, tiny child, and she can't even get up to the bar. So, <laughs> Kiryu's not a boomer. Yeah, he's having... that's, that's the problem. The kid can't reach the bar. That's why you can't take him. 
How else is she gonna drink the juice with the crazy straw? I mean, what do you do with children at bars? Sit them at a table? Oh, yeah. Kira! What? what? Did you forget tables existed in bars? Oh. Maybe. The bars in this game are really small. There are no tables. Also, I'd like to point out that Kiryu is technically Gen X. I have actually done the math. I think he would have been Gen X. Come on, little kid. I'm gonna not bite up a bunch of... God dang street ruffians. I'm trying to show a little kid a fun, good time. We're gonna go to Disney World. Yeah, Tokyo Disney was a thing now. We're going to Tokyo Disney World. We're gonna go in the Haunted Mansion and the kid is gonna laugh. We're gonna go see Shrek 2. Shrek 2 would have been out by the time this game was set. So, so. Was it out in Japan though? Fuck. We're gonna go see Shrek 1. <laughs> Maybe it was out? Possibly. I believe I'm Googling this. You're making me Google this! When did Shrek 2 come out? Um, May 2004, so Japan would have had it by now. Okay. So yeah, you can go see Shrek 2. Come on, kid, we're gonna go see Shrek 2! You gonna go see little drunkies. <laughs> Carry you, how did a dragon and a donkey make babies? Well, you see, when a dragon and a donkey like each other very much... They do a special hug. They just sort of think, hmm, maybe we should make a small version of ourselves. And that's how that happens. And yet you and, uh, you and Uncle Majima can't even hold hands in movies. Actually, there was a whole subplot about lesbians in this game. It was actually very nice and wholesome. I'm always a bit skeptical when Japanese do anything any sort of like lesbian I mean. story because they always see like girls being lesbians as like practice before they have an actual partner. They actually did it well. They talked about. Mar uh, marriage equality in Japan. That was the thing that shocked me the most. Because in 2005, you couldn't get married to the same sex in Japan. You still can't, but you get the point. It was just, like, really interesting. There's also a whole thing about gender, which was very interesting. I'm sitting here going, I was not expecting this in Yakuza. I'm cool with it. Oh, uh, daycare wants me to point out that the babies were horrifying mutants. Yeah, don't worry about that. Come on, kid. You're gonna watch one of the greatest musical sequence ever in movies ever. <laughs> well, am I wrong? The I Need a Hero sequence is one of the best bits in cinematic history. Citizen Kane who? No, you're right. <laughs> How can Alan say they're horrifying mutants? Okay, kids, we're going to the lottery. Let's teach the kid about gambling. That sounds fun. All right, kid, I'm going to teach you about gambling. Tell me your birthday, tell me your mom's birthday, and tell me your dad's birthday. Okay, we're going to put him on this ticket and see if we win. 
Oh yeah, there's actually... I know which one you're talking about, and I can't remember the name either. Please tell me we get to go to Disney World. One of... Oh, yeah, I got more than enough yen. Thank you for the gambling house wooden tags. What do I do with these? Oh, God. I used to think it's a smart idea to be taking the girl to a gambling den. An illegal underground gambling den. Says the girl who learned how to play blackjack at seven years old. I know. Blackjack's not an incredibly hard game to teach a child. Yes. Ooh, dice! We'll do dice later. Okay, all it is is dice. Found a locker key. Nice. Okay. So, who's ready for gambling? Me. Alright, nibbling. Sorry, nibbling. Oh, good. You took your shoes off. Good. All right, nibbling. We're going to teach you high and low. You have to guess if it's high or low. Or odds and evens. Sorry. Oh, no. Odds. Sorry. All right. We're on a field trip! We don't do kids to... I was hoping not. Huh. Oh no, is this where we learn that that little girl knows that- Oh, Is she a little gambling prodigy? Okay, we're gonna trust- we're gonna trust the small tiny child. I love you, tiny child. I love this tiny child. Can we take her to Vegas? No. Ah! Why not? She said even. I mean, Alan, where do you take children? Do you not take children to the gambling hall? I'm pretty sure his partner would kill him if he tried doing that. I can't believe we're trusting the teeny tiny child. Under 21, the freaking banner. Well, she's doing well. <laughs> Are they shocked about a small, tiny child doing really well at guessing games?
Yes, we're going to take you out for ice cream. Oh, you had a poop? It's okay. You are not teaching this child Warhammer! I'm surprised more people aren't listening in on the kid. Even. Excuse me? This is suspicious. Kiryu, do not consent. <gasps> the dice are loaded! The dice are loaded! You'll see in a second. The, you'll see the loaded dice and you'll understand my WTF. <laughs> the dice has weird little robo legs. Okay, kids, we're teaching you the concept of fighting in a, in a drinking hall. I don't know how many minutes behind the stream is right now. I really should have checked on that. Eh, it's not too bad. Still, the dice had weird little robo legs? Oh, that looks like it hurt. Standing in the corner, just watching this shit unfold. I'm. I don't know if I should be impressed or worried. Impressed, probably. Thirty second or a minute. They're thinking that the. Uh, lack is the thing is happening. Yeah, that sounds about right, honestly. I am back. Ah, uh, you missed it. We're teaching a child gambling. Nice. The child was doing real fucking well. And then they and then the gambling house cheated. Ah, the bastards! You should kill them. What do you think I'm doing? Having a tea party? I don't know. I've been kind no of busy. I haven't been. This. I haven't been able to look at your stream. I've been talking magic with the boyfriend. Aww, that's sweet. Making magic with the boyfriend. Not that kind of magic. You thirsty fucker. I am just lonely! Why does that's everyone- so am I! Bitch, so am I! I can at least turn the thirst off. I can turn it off! Didn't you just spend time with your partner? Okay, there's a difference between spending time with your partner and spending time. With your partner. 
I'm literally just talking about Magic the Gathering with them. Yeah, you're making magic! Not that kind of magic, you thirsty thought! But that- I wasn't talking about that kind of magic, you nasty! I'm talking about making magic, as in Magic the <laughs> Gathering decks! I don't want to call me a nasty. Do you not like being called nasty? You nasty. I'm hurting everyone. Good. Keep hurting them. The, they deserve it. The gambling hall accused us of cheating when in reality they're the ones who are cheating. The bastards. Yeah, but they like money. Yeah, it's like, we're gonna take a chai- No, what's so funny is, so Kiri was asked, you brought a kid with you? And he's like, yeah, she's on a field trip with me. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how to- Dick, stop punching me! Have you tried saying please? Ah, oh, yes. Please stop punching me. Did it work? Yes. There, see? Politeness, kids. <laughs> according Get to- your places. I was about to say, according to daycare boss, it's 53 seconds. 53 seconds? In fact, if this asshole's count, it surprises me the most. And what's 53 seconds? The delay between what I am doing and what they see. Uh, oh, look at the teeny old man with his little hat. I want to pet him. Don't pet humans <laughs> unless they say that you can. Can I give him a cup of cocoa? Holy if, he, if he wants one. What about a nice cup of tea? If he wants one. Okay. Yo, you wanna hear something? What? What? All thoroughbred horses have the same birthdays. What? Just so that, just so that their ages can be standard, standard, standardized for comparison. This is the historical lack of records of actual birthdays. All thoroughbred horses celebrate their birthday on the same day. January 1st in the Northern Hemisphere and August 1st in the Southern. I have a question. So, happy birthday to all thoroughbred horses, Northern only. <laughs> what? <laughs> Happy birthday to all horses, in brackets, Northern. <laughs> so, other thing, we're supposed to be taking this little girl out on the town to make her feel not bad because she got SHOT AT! <laughs> Just want to point that out. And she goes, I saw a toy store here! But the, but it was closed, it wouldn't let me in. When is it gonna open? Now, I would like to point out we're in Kamrochuru, which is a very adult... Think Vegas. Oh, boy. So, he goes, um, that's an adult toy store. Oh, Adults don't buy toys? What kind of toys do adults buy? And he's like, not, not, uh. not, not all adults. I don't, but some do. Uh, he, uh, come on, Kiri, you finished that sentence. Come on, I, I want to hear you explain this to the kid now. Come on. Traumatize your new nibbling. She's clapping in the corner while I'm beating the crap out of some thugs. I'm so proud of her. This child is gonna go through so much trauma and or be the queen of the Yakuza's. Both options sound badass. Well, it's of the trauma. <laughs> Because she'll start a recovery center for children who are affected by Yakuza? And helping people with trauma is badass? Thank you. I didn't think I was gonna get clever, huh? 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 Okay, kid, we're gonna go take you to the hobo country. The people in the hobo country in the red light district under the hobo country are going to teach you some really cool tricks. They're going to do card games on motorcycles. Ah, oh, shit. Card games on motorcycles. And they're also going to teach you how to knit. Sure, why not? Would you rather them rather her learn macrame? The Dane cook of knitting! <laughs> Wait, that's karate. The Dane cook of fighting. What? 
does this man have a taser? Why don't you? Because you have to have a concealed license permit for those? And in order to own one, you have to get tased by one yourself? And no offense, I have a very low pain threshold. Why would I find that offensive? I don't know. How dare? I just smashed that man's face against the sign. Yay! That's a good sign of things to come, then. I just got static shocked because of you and your bad pun. I have a knife! I have a needle! Why is there a hypodermic needle in the trash? Don't, don't answer that. I know the answer. I really wish I didn't know the answer, but I know the answer. Okay, Haruka, this is Uncle Majima. We love him. Say hello to Uncle Majima, Haruka. Fine, don't, 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 don't acknowledge Uncle Majima. Fine. Fine! I'm not weird. Sure. Being stared at all of a sudden. Be careful, mister. Aww, she's so adorable. <laughs> oh, puppy! We love you, puppy. Take good care of Haruka, because we know Date won't. Kiss the pupper. Mwah. Oh, look! The Atlas Moth! In sexy girl form. Words cannot describe how little I ever wanted to hear that. <laughs> really? Yes, really. <laughs> can words describe anything? How can I compare ye to a summer's day? With words. Try harder. <laughs> You're pretty. That'll do. Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. To say about Batman. What? So rude to say about Batman. Ooh! I should have bought more healing items. in danger Oh look it's the professor snipe looking motherfucker I don't like you No one likes you Nishiki You try to shoot us in the middle of the woods when we were younger He killed Mizuki. How rude. Uh-huh. Cutscenes, everyone. Get comfortable. Hold some popcorn. <laughs> Sick. 
So you killed her? And he's dead! The people die when they are killed. Nishiki might be a psychopath and or crazy. And or bloodthirsty. And or some other things. Puts Tim in front of me. Protect me! Why? Because Majima is in here and you're the closest thing within arm's reach. I'm not even in your arm's reach. According to the screen you are. <laughs> also you have a couch! That's a shield! Alan, dead men can't speak, you pillix. If I'm mispronouncing, no one's never heard of necromancy. I don't know how to tell you this. Yakuza doesn't have necromancy. This isn't that. Are you sure? This isn't the spin-off game, which is available, which is basically zombie apocalypse. Check okay. Games what? Are out of 10. I can have a game without necromancy. Oh yes, yes, yes. Because Animal Crossing also has necromancy. Wait. No, it doesn't. There's literal ghosts in Animal Crossing. But you don't do the necromancy. No, but it's implied that there surely has been. There's ghosts about. Or their spirits are unrested. <gasps> Were you jelly that Yumi loved him more than you? Ah, Nico crack. Nico crack. Knee went crack. Oh. Eat the jam-covered gremlin. <laughs> He'll get stuck to the wall and be unable to give. Give chase. I'm not gonna throw Morgan at people. It's an effective combat tactic. Yeah, but I gotta roll really good on my dexterity. You asshole! She's allergic to pollen! Just kiss already! Am I the only one reading the weird tension in the room is the wrong way? Hmm? Perhaps. Okay. There's tension? Yes. Of the sexual variety. Okay, that's entirely you. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because we can. I don't know. For the good of all of us, except for those who are dead. Soup! I found the soup store! <laughs> Sir, your die job is horrible and should get fixed. Yes, I'm just insulting random NPCs now. Where they- I'm being attacked by men with sticks. I feel offended. This gun beat you stick. This gun beat stick. Take it from him and stick it to him. You know, just for that, I'm throwing you into the pot. You're throwing me where? I'm throwing you into the pot. The pot? Yes. You're going into a pot. No. It's nice it smells and. Smells like weed in here. Not that kind of pot, you nasty. Too late. Smells like weed in here. 
Okay, let me do my Marlin Cannon joke. It's fun. Uh, when I eventually get around to playing Yakuza for myself, I'm probably just going to see if I can come up with a stupid quip for everything I can hit people with. It's just the kind of idiot that I am. It's fun. Why did I get bonked? I'm not making sex jokes today. Now. <clears throat> oh, look, a pony. Careful, it might have a cold. No, not a cold pony! Well, you gotta admit, it is sounding a little hoarse. Could someone smack him for me? <laughs> I have no power here. <laughs> you have no power here, Gandalf the Gay. How Where the hell was the fit? Okay, so, Alan, have you ever watched Doctor Who? Where the heck was J Captain J Where was Captain Jack Harkness holding his gun? Same concept. Look, Alan, you can hide anything on you with enough lube and Ooh! patience. That man just got Falcon punched out of a room. And I regret using my cannon all, all at once. I have to fight all these men. I have very there's few health drinks. There's a joke I would make, but it's gonna eat me. Rip and tear. We're gonna do a lot of that, Crispy. Ooh. We're about to kick anime ass. Okay, so here's the plan. Don't die. Good plan. Here's the other plan. Take everyone's guns. Equally good plan. None of them have guns. One person has a gun! Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Sneezing while in the middle of a boss fight is a bad thing. Oh, by the way, uh, Tim, if you're going to be sleeping in the cap crypt, remember to brush one of them. They're getting a little too fluffy. This is why you hire groomers. That's what you are. <laughs> Bitch, I'm not the hired help. You a co-host? You paying me to do this brushing? I will pay you in love and affection. Let me just go down to the nearest supermarket and see if they'll take that <laughs> for my groceries. Fine! You won't get paid. <laughs> Come on! You shanked me in my kidney! I need that! To live! No, you don't. I need a kid. Another one. Where? On the other side of your body, you have two kidneys. That's a lie. Listen. Okay, will the asshole with the gun, I mean the sword, stop stabbing me? Cat out of context is gonna be great when she becomes famous. Uh, that's it. I su I summon Exodia. Oh shit, I didn't know you could do that in this game. Yeah. God damn sword fighting nerd. Why didn't you yep. take- Not you. <laughs> Okay. Don't worry. If I keep killing guys, they lose their swords. They lose their swords. I use their weapons against them. Okay. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. Shank. Shank.
Excuse me. Why does your freaking sword do blue fire? Excuse me. Excuse me. I call bullshit. I call hacks. You okay with that, Chief? No. What makes you think I'm fine? I don't. I didn't know for certain. That's why I asked. I'm gonna have to murder people. Get on it, then. I'm working on it. I have to drink more juice. Okay, okay. I need a weapon. I need a weapon. I need a weapon. Okay, 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 okay. Come on! How the... I'm curious of Jojo now. What? You'll see in like 53 seconds. <laughs> You'll see the auras. Ora, 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 ora. You see the aura? I saw a... Oh, I got quite a bit of frame rate shock. A shit ton of XP. Whoo! Why is that? What? 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 That is so badass. That is. Aura. What is? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did you not see Kiryu with a shit ton of bodies behind him, looking badass? I have problems. Yeah, he's still drinking juice. It's ballistic weave, daycare. It's ballistic weave. Here's your gratitude. I don't kill you. Yep, there he is with the bodies behind him. Tell me that's not badass. It is. Just a little bit badass. Just a little baby bit badass. Yes, Japanese text. Can I have translation, please? No.
Okay. Oh. I mean, I understand what's going on, but I'm like, oh. You look like you're about to piss yourself. And this is where we see the spiral into madness and assholery. You're still an asshole, though, so I'm not gonna for all forgive you. Forgive. Bleh, fuck it. Words are hard. Damn, say words for me. Words. Thank you. Morgan, you wanna join? Morgan, wanna join in the word processing? What? <laughs> I said, did you want? I'm watching a guy make a 50 cal hammer. What's up? Uh, what? Sorry, we have new priorities. Go on. <laughs> His health and safety practices terrify me. Okay, what the fuck is a 50 cal hammer? It's a hammer that uses 50 caliber bullets. I don't. Why do you need a hammer that uses 50 caliber bullets? Why don't I didn't want to spend a thousand pounds on a really good hammer? Why do you. So instead, he's bought a 2,000 pound lathe and is making a 50 cal hammer. Why? And on that bombshell, we're gonna end Yakuza and continue with something else. Understandable. Yes, Jeremy Clarkson. I mean, we'll continue with something else while streaming. We're just gonna stop with the, the Yakuza because we've just. We need to absorb all the shit we just learned. Also, I have to repair my Marlin gun. Because the Marlin gun is very important to me. <laughs> Alan's asking the real questions here, I've realized. Yeah! It's a good vid, but super dangerous. Ooh, I can improve a shit ton about myself right now. It's called an impact hammer. Yeah, I've been impacted! And so has yeah. everyone else! Whoa, dear, I'm getting quite a lot of frame drop here. That's why- another reason why I wanted to stop the Yakuza. The Yakuza! Yakuzu? Yes, Yakuzu. The Katsu plant. So, what we're gonna do is we're going to save. Save complete. Okay. Yes, angry a Asian people. Excuse me? You'll understand. Uh, hold on, just give me one second. I'm setting everything up and not on fire. And